Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everybody. And welcome on back to Randomized Perfection, Stardew Valley Edition. It's been a while. It's been like, because I took like a week break and then we did speedrun week, so it's been over two weeks at this point since the last uh, Randomizer episode. And I'm excited to get back into it. I, I do know, I mean, it should go without saying, exclamation point goal. We've got our work cut out for us on this one. If you've been keeping up with the randomizer at all, you probably know that. But I'm excited to see how we can... how we do. Exclamation point apology. Pada, look. Let me get ahead of the allegations right now. Bagels are bread, alright? Fine. You can... you you forced my hand, alright? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bagels were bred all along, and I've been proven categorically wrong every, every way to Sunday. I can't win. I can't keep up the facade any longer. Bagels are cake. Ba bagels can be cake. <laughs> I apologize. And thank you, Nightbot, for, for waking up. Waking up for the stream. There we go. What did you come into? Donut is cake. Some cakes are don't wait. Some donuts are cake, but not all don't not all cakes are donut. Something like that. Still on the gold clock, Megan. <laughs> it takes a long time. We barely have anything unlocked. I mean, we have a lot unlocked actually. Given the small subset of uh, goals we've actually been able to complete. Exclamation point complete, by the way. Uh, I think that's the command for all the goals that we completed up until this point. So that is, uh, <laughs> there. Th th those are all our options. Basically, if you, if you hit that command, check that spreadsheet. Those are the things we're allowed to do. <laughs> Who watched all or most of the Friendship-a-thon? Hello, by the way, Lisa. I watched uh, some of the Friendship-a-thon over the weekend, mostly while editing. It, it actually kind of got me into a nice flow state of editing. I've been working on this uh, this fishing challenge video for a very long time now. I, I know I won't stop talking about it, but it's because it's like I live and breathe it between streams and work. <laughs> and I'm almost up to the point, I'm about to surpass the point that I was that I had edited to prior to it getting deleted because it got deleted the first time then i restarted working on it and now i'm basically up to the point where i was previously but a little bit I, i'm a lot i'm a lot happier with it i'll say that much so make backups i make a backup every single day and also i had backups for the previous version but i was in such a depressive funk i delete i deleted the backups so <laughs> the only thing i didn't delete was the raw footage of the challenge because that was uh, on a separate drive that I didn't think about at the time, but I, I digress. That's neither here nor there. That's way in the past at this point. I've been rebuilding and making it steady strides. Stayed up entirely too late Saturday and Sunday watching the friendship streams. The only one I was really chatting during was uh, when Salmence was befriending Penny. I chatted a little bit during that one because I, I, I got home from work that night. He was live and I was like, you know, why not unwind for a little bit? When am I starting? After the after the banter here. Technically, we're still one minute ahead of schedule here, so. <laughs> but I always like to start a few minutes early just to get a little banter in with chat. No uh, no fan art to share today, so I don't have to worry, don't have to worry about uh, squeezing in time for that. We can just get right to the gameplay. Not that it's a worry ever to do fan art. It's a it's a blessing every single time. I never want to forget that. I never want to lose sight of it. There's so much of the fan art now, but I never want to lose sight of the fact that every individual piece is a lot of effort going into it. Yo, Periodic, uh, Periodic Clark. Welcome on in. First time watching the stream series. Can't wait. Happy to have you here. Have you caught, have you watched any of the previous VODs, or is this just your first time joining the stream all or seeing this challenge at all, period? Either way, I'm happy to have you here. It might be a little confusing if it's your first time, but we're uh, we're in the business of explaining things here, so I'll do my best. 
Your first time, period. Well, I'll do my best then. <laughs> and Florally Chaotic, thank you for the $5 super chat right off the start here. Perfection Random, my beloved gold gold clock, my, be my beloved. The dichotomy of the randomizer, it's so true. Probus says you're a strange one. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. All right. Welcome back. Holy moly. Beatrix, it has been too long, girl. It has been far too long since we've since I've seen you. I've I've been enjoyed spending time with Chloe in the in the speedruns, but Beatrix was uh we don't want her to atrophy over here. Alright. 333 common mushrooms. So, if I remember correctly, by the way, let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet. I'm still finagling with my new music setup, but I digress. If I remember correctly, we have three gold coconuts here. I think we have, we have what? We have six banana saplings already planted at home. We have these three gold coconuts. We can get one more gold coconut if we go wait until Monday. Um, because I think that the volcanoes have proven that they're, they're not our friends. So, or that it's not my friend most of the time. I've got, I've, I've done how many days of volcano runs and got four dragon teeth to show for it. It's just, it's not pretty. Granted, one more dragon tooth would give us a, f a free banana sapling, but I can also just go wait until Monday, buy the coconuts at Sandy's shop, and get a gold coconut that way too. Sarah Yams, thank you for becoming a member at the Positron level. I greatly appreciate the generosity and support. Thank you so much. Volcano is very stingy. It's so true. Oh, I don't have my homie... Oh, wait, maybe I do have my homie weapons mod on? I don't know. I thought this... No, my dwarf sword wouldn't be... I don't know. I might I might not have the the homie weapon mod on right now. The, the mod that Wickedy made for us. Either way. I'll, I'll rock the dwarf sword for the time being. Yay, rusty sword. It does look heavily rusted, but it's so heavily rusted that it becomes even more deadly. Alright, I just wanted to do a little bit of clearing for my own peace of mind. I think we probably, what we should do is go back to the mainland and then just like basically sleep until Monday, get our coconuts, come back to Ginger Island and trade for the last gold coconut that we can get. Then we'll sleep one more day, then we'll start doing our little gold coconut grind. So is there anything that I need to bring with me home? I would, I'll bring this island warp totem, that way we can get back here nice and quick on the day of reckoning. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I feel like I can save this island. Well, I'll bring it, but I think I feel like I can save it for something more important. Cuz I I'm in no rush to get back. Triple shot espresso I'll bring home. Um what else should I bring home? We have a limited I mean, I should bring all my tools, I guess. <laughs> we have a limited inventory here. Omni geodes will help in our gold coconut endeavors. I can always come back for more. All right, this is fine. I'm happy to... Wait, do I have a farm warp totem? I do, but I think I'm going to go ahead and commit to this instead. Not going to sell the pearl. You know what? I probably should sell the pearl. That's a good call. Not going to sell the ostrich egg, I'll tell you that much. The pearl, it is a loved gift, but we have a pretty steady supply of rabbit's feet, so... I'm not too fussed about it. Pearl's also not part of the shipping collection. I got to make sure to check myself on like what I can and can't do because it's been so long since I played the randomizer. I might just fall into old habits here. We need the G exactly. The pearl, the pearl is more important for money than it is for anything else right now. All right, let's go ahead. I just want to sort my inventory kind of the way I like it. This feels right to me. I got my salads, got my, got everything going here. All right, let's go. Catching up with the price of perfection. So you were very confused for a second. Just one episode, it's, you know, we're searching for a cactus fruit. The next episode, we're on Ginger Island. It's an entirely different character. I can certainly understand the confusion. Skip me. All right. So I think, honestly, once we get the banana trees in the ground, like all 10 of them, 
which, which we're very close to doing right now. Once we have that, then it's basically like... Like, we just kind of go through the motions at that point, right? Like, we've got our farm pretty well set up. We got full... We got four full buildings of animals. Fully auto-grabbered and auto-pettered. We've got the Junimo huts, which can't, aren't doing anything right now because it's winter. But they will be in the near future here. That's That actually reminds me, I should... What I should do is turn... If I haven't done it yet, I might have thought of this far ahead in the past previous art uh, like past argon might have been smart enough to do this but i might i should start making my um ancient fruit into ancient seeds via seed maker inventory full by the way okay let's uh let me sort my sort stuff into places here it's been so long since i've been home like not it's number one it's been so long since i played the randomizer it feels like number two it's been so long since i've like not been on ginger island for a prolonged period of time it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a bit of an adjustment period, I think. Okay. Let me Oh, I left my furniture catalog on Ginger Island. That's okay. Ginger Island is is still there. Oh, you know what this is? This is where the homie sword is, but I don't have the mod on right now, so it's getting so the game's getting confused. Alright, that's fair. No homie sword. Get some homies in chat though. 111 years just seems so crazy. I still can hardly believe that I that I slept that long myself. Okay. I also need two rare seeds. Do I have Did I did I grow the sweet gem berry? I honestly don't remember. Let me take a let me take stock of like what's going on on my farm. I need to I need to remember here. Did I buy the rare seed? I have a memory of buying the rare seed. I think I did. Did I grow the rare seed is another matter. I did grow it. I need to turn it into two seeds at the beginning of a day. Thank you, Lore Master Miss Palindrome. I appreciate you. I appreciate you doing the work that I'm supposed to be doing. All right, we're leaving all of these. So presumably it's in one of my Junimo huts then, right? Right? <laughs> or is it somewhere else? Is it, I must've put it in a fridge at some point. Like I, I grew it, there's no way I would do anything with it or unless it like died, I don't know, but. <laughs> Probably migrate Junimo's. Stuff from Junimo uh, huts into chests. I definitely should. I definitely should. We're also going to... I should grab... Hold on. Let me... It's fine. Grab all this. I grew, I grew the sweet gem berry. It must be somewhere, right? It must be somewhere. I can't see why it wouldn't be in a Junimo hut. Because they're, they're the only ones that would have picked it for me. Bro, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll have to look back at the VOD on that one. Check the VOD. Check the VOD. You're currently doing a lovely percent run. Best of luck to you, Quasar. I hope you can beat my time. I, I've, I wish you all the best of luck on that front. Alright, the fall seed grind continues. But I think we're going to go ahead. I'll start storing the fall seeds here. Okay. I'm also going to start doing ancient seeds. What cro what things do I need in my inventory right now? Like what what tools can I get rid of? I don't really need this. Um honestly, I I should keep the hoe probably. Don't really need the pickaxe or the axe at this point in my life, I don't believe. Let's check our silos real quick. Megan, sweet gem berry is the first item in the chest I got the ancient fruit from. Megan with the save. You're right. You're absolutely right. Okay, sweet gem berry save. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> that totally, it totally blended in. Anything that's in like the first couple positions in a chest just blends in entirely to me. Appreciate the save. Hello, by the way, Pi. Good to see you. How are our silos doing right now? It should still be relatively full, decently full. Okay, we got a lot of hay in reserve as well, so I'm not uh, I'm not worried about that. 
what I am worried about is I should be checking. So what I need to check basically, not every day literally, but like most days. Well, the every day, I don't know. Do you think it's worth it to check the mushroom cave every day? Are we going to be making a lot of money from the mushrooms? When did we build four silos? It might have been last stream. It was. I think I was doing it in preparation for winter. We should be checking the fruit trees every three days. So this will be, they'll be ready on the 7th. And then we just go every three days from then. I mean, I should like set a timer or something. Or like, I don't, I don't know how that would even work. Is there, is there a timer mod? Like, do you think it's worth checking the mushrooms every single day? I don't know that it is, to be honest with you. I feel like compared to the rest of our money-making adventures, it's just, it's not going to add up that, that much. I do have a well, yeah. The well was important when we were doing our own manual watering, but now we've got a nice Junimo hut set up in the sprinkleable area of the farm. So I'm not too concerned about that. Our animals should still be doing well down here. We, we made sure to set this up, I remember, at, to get ahead of any debris that might appear at the start of next year. I'm just getting a, I'm just getting a lay of the land for right now. Mushrooms don't seem worth it. It just, it seems, uh, yeah, like, I feel like it would take, take more time to do the mushroom thing than it would be worth. Also, this is a lot of... A lot of mahogany trees. Holy. Might need to keep my axe on me just for the for the mahogany. Actually, I should keep my axe on me for mahogany to like help clear that area out. A little bit of like saplings and seeds and stuff. And for wooden debris. I know no debris will spawn during winter here, but once the debris season does roll around again, I want to be ready for it. Check the cave when I check the fruit tree, since the cave is on the way. Very true. If I'm sleeping and not doing debris day, then yeah, I just say fruit trees every three days. And we can, yeah, we can pick up the mushrooms on the same day as the, as the fruit trees. That's probably a smart move here. Um, I'm just thinking, is there anything else we should do? I know I considered setting up a slime hutch. I don't think it's worth it. It, it was, it's just a little bit too finagly, and we're, we wouldn't get that much money out of it, I don't think. So I think we'll hold off on Slime Hutch tech for right now. Is there something I could put in the Crystallariums that would pop every three days as an easy reminder? Wait, where are my Crystallariums? They're also on Ginger Island, aren't they? <laughs> I'll need to go back to Ginger Island, I think, to to reacquire some stuff. I think for in the near future. Well, I'll, I'm gonna go back to Ginger Island anyway to get the last gold coconut. So I'll just bring a bunch of stuff stuff home with me then. That should be fine. Um, we probably could do that. Do like a three day timer with the Crystallarium. But, well, how long does Jade take to replicate? How long does Jade take to replicate? Just good sleepies. We're gonna be doing good sleepies in the near future here. I just I just wanna make sure we're ready for the sleep times. Several three-ish hour minerals, but it's strange. Two days. Too bad I can't make a shed full of diamond crystallariums. I mean I could, I just need to get a lot more crystallariums out of uh Skull Cavern. Speaking of, how's our jade supply looking? Our jade and staircase is 132. Uh, because I wouldn't mind doing some Skull Cavern runs. Just to spice things up in between. I just don't know, like, how many staircases do you think is enough to justify a Skull Cavern run? Like, 132 seems like a lot. And, like, if we want to guarantee ourselves at least one treasure room, then, I mean, at least then 100 staircases is the bare minimum. Emeralds and rubies are two days. I, I, ideally, I want to use the Crystallariums for jades... Or diamonds. Diamonds would take would be too long for a timer, obviously, but diamonds are the most profitable. Um, nine nine nine. That uh, that would be a good amount of staircases. That would take a while to get there, though. Diamonds are five days exactly. My apologies. 
Jades are one day and 16 hours. Don't we have star shards? We do have star shards, that's true, but they're not as good in a crystallarium as diamonds, as far as, like, gold per day goes. They do have a special place in my heart, though. Get some star shard emojis in chat, whatever that means. Fire opal is three days and 11 hours and sells for 350. I think, honestly, I just try and, like, keep a mental timer, <laughs> or, like, try to just, like, remember what days I'm supposed to go out on. Like, I, I can just start doing... Like, I can, honestly, I could just do, like, days that are multiples of three. So, like, I would do, like, just, like, three, six, nine. And then, obviously, that kind of falls apart at the end of the season. Because, like, when, when you go into the next season, you have to start again. So, what, but I could just, like, make an extra day at the end of the season. Well, I'm, go I'm going out in, a uh, on, a uh, on Mondays anyway. Or on Mondays at the start of a season. So... I could do it like that. I could do, like, days 3, 6, 9 of a season all the way up until 27. And then day 1 of the next season. And then we just start again from there, 3, 6, 9. Just, it'll be a little bit less efficient, but I'm going out on Mondays anyway for debris clearing purposes. So, I think that's totally fine. 27 is close enough to 28. Any, th any fruit that processes in 3 days. I mean, we could put it in, like, a garden pot, but I have no means to harvest the garden pot. What I do have means to do is to jam out the pickle jar rag, though. Bobbing my head already, right now. Putting the ancient fruit in the maker, turning it into the seeds I will use to make big monies. No mixed seeds for me today, please. I really need every seed I can get. And if I don't get all of these seeds, I might just reset because I'm lame. What? Who said that? The most fire Stardew Valley star song? Well, I didn't say it. I just read it in chat. I, di I didn't say it. Seeds and please is a genius rhyme, low-key. You get some bangers out there every now and again. All right. Well, I think. Okay, I think I think I have a decent. I have I have a de general idea in mind of the path forward. Then I think for st as far as staircases go, the staircase question. I think when we hit two hundred staircases, that'll be a good sign to start doing some skull cavern runs. So once we hit 200 staircases, I'm I'm going to start looking at like daily luck and stuff until we get a good luck day. Probably want to wait for a full star drop day and then uh, use some luck boosting food, get some get some treasure rooms and we'll just make a nice it'd be a nice, you know, every so often event to break up the the monotony of all the sleeping. I'm here for that. Otherwise, we're checking fruit trees every 3 days. Um the animal pro produce we're going to sell basically once a year, I think, is totally fine. Like, if we check, or, well, maybe, like, like twice a year. Like, what if we do it, like, once every two seasons we check in at the animal produce? Like, once at the end of summer and once at the end of winter? Because I feel like doing it, ev I, we could just do it every season, I guess. I guess there's nothing explicitly wrong with doing it that way. Like, if we go out on the same, if we go out on... Well, we just do it on Debris Day, I guess. Just make Debris Day the first Monday of every season. We'll make it our, like, big chore day. I think I'm, I think that's a reasonable way to approach it. Either way, I'm going to go to bed right now. We're doing a lot of theory crafting, but I think it's going to pay off in the end here. What was that achievement, by the way? I sold a bunch of eggplants. Eggplants were allowed to sell. It's one of the few things we are. What do you got? Monoculture? <laughs> Monocultured my eggplants? you love to see it. Yeah, I put a chest by the seed maker and preserves jar. I can put I can put processing stuff there, even the keg. Okay, we could we could we can definitely let's go all out here. Let's go all out. Alright. If we so we move this, we have seed maker, preserves jar, keg. Sorry, you're gonna. You're going to guard the charcoal kiln now, I guess? <laughs> okay. And then, 
What if we move the telephone and we put a chest right here? Move one of our chests there. I'll have to like empty out a chest in order to make that work because I obviously can't craft any chests of my own. Don't know why necessarily there's gravestones here. I feel like you could be in a better spot. This gravestone's going to come in important eventually, but you're just going to go there for right now. Okay, do we have a reasonably empty chest? I would need to do a bit of juggling, but I, I should be able to, like, empty out this chest. Or probably, what if I empty out this chest? Here, we'll empty out this chest and transplant it over there. So let's, let's do a little bit of finessing right now. Um... I know I could do this faster, but let's just do it like this. Oops, don't do that. Gravestones have a use beyond decor. They will in our, uh, in this timeline. Okay. Boom. Alright, now... Pop this. Bring this over here. Make it pink because I'm a I'm consistent like that. Alright, and now we start doing the transplant process back. Just, just just keep running it back, it's fine. I just don't want to mess up my inventory any too like too much here. So I'm gonna do it like so. I'm gonna use this chest for our money money gains. I should also keep doing this. Uh, you are coming here. Justin, welcome on in. Glad to be back with Beatrix. Me too. It's, it's been too long. She's been lonely out here. She was on the island and everything, like, all by herself. So, it's, uh, it's a little unfortunate that way, but... But she's back now. Back in action. Yeah. Chanterelles. Okay. I generally want this to be my, like, money chest. So, like, we got the fruits that we're going to be selling. Um, we got fall seeds, which are going to be part of our, our process, too. Sort of pickled pumpkins, apricot jelly. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be making apricot jelly, necessarily. I'm going to move this wallpaper, because it, it freaks me out, dude. I'm just going to put it right there for now. Um, we got our mushrooms. I should move... So what if I... So what are we going to be pickling, then? We have a bunch of pumpkins, right, that I still have not pickled. Pickle these pumpkins. Is it better to pickle the... Even, like, the gold star pumpkins, or should I just sell those outright? Alright, that's the last ancient fruit seeded. Pickle this pumpkin. And then for wine, I guess, like, any, like, base quality fruit I should just try and make into wine. I'll, like, I, I'm not going to be... Hmm. Sell high quality didn't do the math, though. Probably sell, considering I have a preserves jar. I have, yeah, I have one preserves jar and one keg, which makes, like, the, the wine and... I mean, I should, I should do ancient fruit wine, ultimately, probably. Only iridium pumpkins sell for more than the pickles. Okay, thank you for that intel, Miss Palindrome. Can I sell pickles? I can sell... Most of the stuff that we're going to be selling, we're selling directly to Pierre. We're not going to be able to ship most of it. Some The stuff that we can ship is eggplants, iridium bars, red mushrooms, magma caps, and bone fragments. The only ones that are probably going to be pertinent... Maybe some more eggplants, although we've already shipped a lot of those. Iridium bars we can get from Skull Cavern, we can ship those. Um, red mushrooms we can ship directly, which is nice. These ones we're probably not going to be worrying about too much. It's going to be a lot of sleeping, it's very true. I have 67 ancient seeds ready to go for spring. I don't think I have any more ancient fruit anywhere else. I think I picked up everything that I could.
Iridium pumpkins only sell for more if you have Tiller, but not Artisan. I don't have any professions at all because I've not been allowed to level up basically anything. I have like, what am I, level one fishing? Yep. <laughs> Are we finalizing the money machine setup process? Basically, yeah. All right, this keg should be doing something. I should I should get this keg doing something. Let's make some just some peach peach and pomegranate. What's are they equivalent value? Pomegranate I know is like an expensive fruit, so let's at least do that. Peach is is our peach and pomegranate are they the two trees that we have in our greenhouse aside from banana? I know pomegranate is one, but for some reason peach doesn't ring a bell. But maybe it is peach, peach, pomegranate and banana. Sounds like a great fruit salad, to be honest with you. Pomegranate's more expensive than peach. Pumpkin should go in the keg and the jar. Is pumpkin juice worth doing? I always thought that, like, vetch, like, like, ve is, how does it work? Like, preserve jars are better for some and, and kegs are better for others. They are peach trees. Look at that. Peaches, 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 peaches. Pomegranates are too difficult to eat. Do people eat, like, whole pomegranates? I only ever see people, like, eat the seeds of pomegranates as, as little snackies. I wonder if the gold clock is hollow. For how much it costs, it better not be hollow. It better, better be 24 karat gold all the way through. Otherwise, I want my money back. Quick little seed check. We'll do a seed check at the end of the... At the end of winter, too. Just the seeds. Daughter loves them. I think they're too sour and too much work. I don't think I've ever tried pomegranate seeds. I know a lot of people who really do enjoy them, though. 720G for juice, 690 for jar. But how long does each one take? Like, what's the gold per day ratio? If I have any extra star fruit, it can be kegged. I have five star fruit right there. Preserve jars are better overall from filling them constantly. Let's see. What's my Junimo huts? I got a bunch of wheat and cranberries. Are, are cranberries? I have a lot of cranberries. I have 223 cranberries, <laughs> plus the gold and silver star ones. Should I, should I be doing anything with these cranberries? 320 cranberries. Base quality cranberries. Don't keg cranberries. I just sell the cranberries. I'm just I'm just selling cranberries. Is that what I'm taking away? Just sell cranberries. Cranberries not worth it to process. All right, I'm going to sell these eggplants at the very least. Get them out of here. All right, cranberries will get sold directly. Pumpkins. So my current modus operandi is pumpkins. I'm going to put my pumpkins in preserves jars and kegs until I run out of pumpkins. And then I pivot to, is ancient fruit worth it in a preserves jar, or should I only make ancient fruit wine once I have ancient fruits going? Ancient fruit jelly is quite good. And, like, we only have one of each. We only have one preserves jar and one keg. I think for efficiency's sake, it makes the most sense to just, like, pick one fruit or vegetable to go into both. I think that's a, that's a reasonable approach. Ancient fruit jelly is good because I have one each. Yeah, if I had the option to make, like, a bunch of kegs and stuff, then obviously ancient fruit one would be the, would be the way to go. But because I only have the one, I think it's... I think this is fine. Okay. Alright, so, 
plan of attack right now. What's So what's our plan? Once I get... So... Well, first and foremost, let's... There's nothing left to do on these days. T today, today, let's get in the habit, though. Let's start building good habits. Today is the 6th, which means it's a multiple of 3, which means it is a fruit tree day. So this is what I would do on every multiple of 3 days. We go all the way over. Can I move the greenhouse? Do you think do you think there's room for me to move the greenhouse nearby? Cuz it, it it would I mean moving like going this distance every single time I have to wake up and do this would be definitely it would definitely take a lot of time. I'm not opposed to doing that, because I honestly don't know if I have the room near my house to put the greenhouse anywhere. Like, I can probably move it a little bit closer, maybe? Like, how big is the greenhouse? One, two, three, four, five... It's like six tiles. One, two, three, four, five... Six. It's like six by seven, something like that. Or is it seven by seven, even, maybe? So many peaches. This, that wasn't even, like, a good day for peaches. I mean... My music stopped. Hello? Video pause. Continue watching. Yes, please. S 7 by 6 plus 3 by 2 for the, uh... For the whatchamacallit. Hold on a second. I'm getting, like... I've got I've, I've got a lot of a lot of red error messages, a lot of a lot of red me error messages in my in my mod log for Stardew Valley. I think it's just because the homie weapon is <laughs> is is not here. That's fine. That's fine. The game's not going to crash. It's okay. You hear music? It paused for a second though. It paused. But I restarted it. All right. Six by seven and three by two. If I, I can chop down these fruit trees. I know I've been on record as saying, like, well, let's, let's see. Like, if I chop all these down, move the stable, maybe. Can we, can we fit the greenhouse in here somehow? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pro probably not, huh? I feel like this... I feel like the greenhouse would not fit there. If I had to... If I had to get out my protractor and my ruler and everything. I'm, I'm gonna hazard a guess that the greenhouse does not fit there, just at a glance. Just try moving it. I guess we can just try, yeah. Alright, we'll check, we'll check in... We're gonna need to be going out on Monday anyway, so I'll I'll check in then and we'll see if we can move the greenhouse. Can't put those away. Do a dummy run to Robbins and see where it might fit. Yeah, I think that's probably the best best way to do it, rather than just trying to like eyeball it, you know? Okay. Um I'm gonna keep the fall seeds on me. I feel like it's just easier that way. I'm gonna go to bed. A few of those tiles might be unavailable, but let's see anyway. We'll give it a whirl. We're all about experimentation here. It's not like she's gonna it's not like she's gonna charge me to like check, right? That's that's not how Robin works. Alright. Um really nothing to do today, so let's just go to sleep. Tomorrow, tomorrow I want to head out to the desert and take care of all that stuff. By your counting, it would fit. Okay. Oh, I can't go to Robin's today. It's the Festival of Ice. That's okay. I, I should still be able to go to Sandy's, right? Sandy is open on festival days regardless. But Sandy doesn't go to the festival, so I don't see why she would close. She doesn't charge you to move it either. Very fair point. <laughs> Entirely fair and true statement. 
Alright, while, while I wait for Sandy to open up, I might as well seed make her stuff. Might as well check the... Well, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to my commitment of only doing greenhouse runs and whatnot on uh, multiples of three. I can try moving it at the wizard if I don't go to the festival and skip it. That might be... I mean, yeah, if we get late enough in the day, I can just go to the wizard. You're actually right, yeah. Good call, Benny. Good call. You have a map planner open, and it says the 7x6 is tricky, and you can't put stuff right in front of the spouse area. But if I move the shipping bin, I might be able to put it j right by my house. We'll go up to Robin's. We'll see what we have available. I'm not opposed to chopping down some trees and getting some extra foraging experience as well if push comes to shove and if because like like there's like what there's like two trees over here I don't think chopping down fruit trees gives you foraging experience for the record I don't know for a fact but I'm gonna hope not like I could clear well, how much mining XP do I have I think we're actually a little bit tight on mining XP the iridium fruit though <laughs> that's that's actually a great point the iridium fruit is kind of is kind of tempting to keep around there's some rocks too yeah yeah maybe we should keep those fruit trees around Wizard's Tower opens at 6 a.m., but the Festival of Ice is taking place, so we won't be allowed down there just yet. Once it gets to 2 p.m., the festival should be done, and then we can just go over there. Just skip our way over there. For right now, let's go ahead and take care of this business, though. I will scoot on over to Sandy's, buy 10 coconuts, get more gold, get another gold coconut so that we can finalize our greenhouse setup for real, for real. All right, 10 coconuts. Thank you, girl. Sweetie, won't you buy something, please? Don't get greedy now. Go via the Witch's Swamp. Does that work? That might actually... That might work. I'm not sure. All right, return to Stardew Valley. Um, Willy probably isn't open, right? I can't... I can't go to Ginger Island the old way, the, like the normie way. Because Willy won't be open. Maybe he will be. I don't know. I can do, I can use the island warp totem. So I'm not concerned. Let's just let's just use it. Bite the bullet and use it. Okay. Where's my island warp totem at? I can put the greenhouse left of my house. I might have to move the obelisk a smidge. We'll see what we can finesse. All right. I want it, space in my inventory to bring some stuff home. So let's go ahead and do... Just put, just put away all the stuff you don't currently need. Um, actually, I should bring... I guess I... Well, I'll bring, a, I'll bring an axe just in case. Until he picks stuff up. He opens at 8 after I fix the boat. On a festival day, too? I got the Island Warp Totem. I'm not, I'm not going to sweat too much about it. Oh, I should have brought my should have brought my hoe for the artifact spots. That's okay. No biggie, no biggie. Gold coconut, the final one we need. Now I just need to hope that we don't uh, have terrible banana sapling luck, and it doesn't take us like a million geode cracks to <laughs> to get our our final few banana saplings here. All right. What am I bringing home? I'm bringing home all of this. Bringing home the furniture catalog. Um, bring home. Don't really need to bring any of that home, to be honest. Let's be let's be picky here. Let's be picky. Jade, ostrich egg. I'll bring. I don't plan on doing anything with it just yet, but it'd be nice to have it at home for when we do want to do stuff with that. Honestly, nothing, none of this is, like, that important. 
in the pan, maybe. Well, the pan is better on Ginger Island, anyway. I can put the rings in my dresser. That's true. You know what? Let's bring the rings home. Um, pineapple seeds? Is it worth planting pineapples in the, in the summer? I'll bring them just in case. Plant these in warm weather. Plant on the island? I can't harvest them on the island, though. Uh, plant taro and pineapple on the on the money because rain. Plant taro and pineapple on the money because rain. Is this a riddle? <laughs> I I will plant. I, is taro worth planting for? Is taro good money? I never took. I never considered taro good money, but maybe I've never tried. I'm not gonna be a hater. I'll give it a try. On the island? Planted on the island. I don't see a reason to plant anything on the island, because I can't harvest it until I get, like, a farming level. Which, who knows how long that's gonna be. So I should plant, like, whatever- I should plant these pineapple seeds just, like, in the summer. Tarot's not that good. I'm gonna save the tarot tubers. That's, that's what my gut's telling me to do. What else can I bring home? Iridium ore? I have a quest for harvesting a hundred of them. I do have a quest, but I don't have a hundred of them. <laughs> oh, but I see I see what you mean. When I have that quest, I see... Well, I don't have my hoe on me anyway, so I can't even plant them right now if I wanted to. That is a good idea, but I'm going to be lazy and not do that. Alright. Let's go on home. I'm, I'm content with this. I'll grow the pineapple on my farm in in summer, I think. So I'll have I'll have some extra room in addition to the all the ancient fruit that I'm doing. All right, we're good to go. Pineapple will grow in a garden pot, but I cannot harvest it out of a garden pot because the the only harvesting I can do, remember, is on my farm with Junimo huts. That's it. That's all. That's all I can do. So I can I am able to plant things in other places, ginger island, garden pots, all this stuff. I can't do anything with it until I'm allowed to gain farming XP. Which uh, might not be for a while yet, who knows. The pineapple will grow in a garden pot, yeah. It would be great if Junimos could harvest garden pots. If we could put throw throw a Junimo hut into a into a greenhouse, too? Ooh. Fruit trees are not farming XP. I know, it's crazy. They're not farming XP. They're not foraging XP. XP. They're, they're nothing XP. They're just big nothing burgers. Alright. Let's get our jade crystallariums going again. Perfect. Put that away. I'm gonna go put the... Um, we'll pick you up. Put this down. Futon bear, you've you've come home to roost. Let's put away the rings in the dresser. Ostrich egg I want to protect for right now. So I will just put it in... Not in a fridge, because that, that's, a, that's a recipe for disaster if I've ever heard one. Just put it in here, that's fine. With the garden pot, why not? Hardwood is in this chest. Pineapple seeds, I'll put them over in... My money chest, because I'm going to be using them for money at some point, presumably. Put that in there. Okay. And let's get the... Let's get the inventory set up again. Grab this. Grab these. Grab these. Grab this. Those. Pumpkins. Pumpkins for when I need to swap out for the other things. Actually, I shouldn't fill up my inventory just yet, because what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be... Tomorrow, I'm going to be gold coconut omni-geode spamming. So I shouldn't worry about that just yet. Let's just put away all this for right now. Grab my omni-geodes. And I can go down to the wizard's tower now. And look, about, look into moving the greenhouse around. Let's give it a try. 
how hard is normal perfection? It's going to take you a good while for sure, but it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily hard if you, if you have an idea of some of the strategies, especially for like money making when you're going into it. If you're doing it for your first time and you're just like doing it without consulting the wiki or anything like that, it's probably pretty hard, but, but, uh, I believe in you. I believe in you, Peridot Clark. Periodic Clark, even. Parrot, I, I, I don't know what. Peridot, I got Steven Universe on the mind or something like that. Stay focused for in-game years. Just one if you're Haboo. But I feel like most of us are not Haboo. It's locked. Wizard's Towers is still closed even on a festival day, even after the festival is done. That's a scam, man. That's a, that's a dang scam. It's okay. We can just head out tomorrow and do it. That's fine. I'm going to need to pass some time tomorrow anyway in order to... Am I able to make it, like, up through my farm with... Um, with B-Boss playing in the background? Absolutely, yes. But I was going to say with Iota. All right, Iota, you're going to have to hang out down here for right now. Why is, wait, why is B-Boss so quiet, though? Can I, is, why are the bees... The bees? Okay, they, they picked up a little bit now. They're buzzing, they're buzzing very quietly. They don't want to distract us. They're waking up from their nap. At least they're quiet to me. Maybe they're not so quiet to you. I have no idea. B-Boss too quiet? Hold on a second. That's better. That's a little bit better. Oh, yeah. Now that warrants some bees. That warrants some bee emojis right there. Rock on out. Look at... Now that's a swarm. That's a swarm-worthy performance right there. I don't even know if you can hear me anymore, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you had the bees. You don't need me if you had the bees. All right, I think we're done for today. We got our gold coconut. We got ready to do that grind tomorrow. Um, let's just go to sleep. Take care of that business. All right, uh, just grab me one pumpkin for right now. That's fine. Also grab one of these, just keep it going. All right, I need to go turn down the volume again. <laughs> This is just this is just the smell of mushroom. It doesn't need to be that loud. Hopefully it's not that quiet either, but Nightbot's a liar. Nightbot's working with outdated information, with meme information. Okay. It's a little bit quiet. I have to I have to put the audio balance at like a like the way I have it right now, maybe that's better. But but like sometimes loud songs come on and then they're too loud if I put it too loud here. There's gotta be like a perfect equilibrium. I'm just gonna put it right there for now and just not worry about it. Be Beatrix, blink twice if you're happy. Hold on, let's watch. Beatrix, blink twice if you're happy. That's one. That's two. There you go. You got it. <laughs> she's living. She's living life to the fullest. She's very happy right now. All right. I'm gonna go pay a quick visit to the wizard. See if we can do some greenhouse management. Keep in mind, we're probably going to have to reset this day anyway, because that's just how the geode farming process works. We're going to try and use these geodes and these gold coconuts to finesse four more banana saplings out of our coconuts. Shouldn't be too hard if our previous adventures are anything to go by, but, you know, <laughs> we might have gotten a little lucky last time. I'm not one to say if one in 363 odds are lucky or not, but... Jay Nuggets, thank you for being a member for 15 months, by the way, at the Electron level. Been gone so long, it's fun to be back. Good to see you again. You're always you're always welcome around here. Always. All right, move buildings. No, like, a sturgeon command? Not yet. All right. 
let's just pull the greenhouse, pop it, pop it off here, and let's let's have a look and see where we can make it fit. If I were, I I could put it right there. I would have to chop down what, one, two, three, four, five trees, five trees and their stumps. That's sixty-five foraging experience, and I'd have to move the desert obelisk, but that it can fit right there. That's a lot of foraging experience, but it is, you're right, it is no mining experience. Oh wait, I can use bomb. I can use bombs! Wait, can I bomb, can I bomb that spot? There's, there's like, there's some rocks right here. There's some rocks right there. Bombs. You're absolutely right with the bombs. What about here, though? Like, if I put it here, there's a spot there where I'm not allowed to put stuff. I would have to... I can do it here if I move the stable. I have to break like two rocks and one fruit tree. It's probably better to do it here then, right? It's pro it's probably a best case scenario to do it right here. This this seems like a good spot for it. We we would just have to move. Let's move the hold on. Put you back for right now. That's fine. Yeah, this, this seems like the better alternative, this area here. So we would just move the Desert Obelisk. We can move it. I want to have it still at least, like, semi-convenient. What if we just pop it right behind the stable? That's kind of nice. I kind of like that. I can co-sign that. Left side is simpler. Put the Desert Obelisk right in front of my house. Wait, I can't... Tell, you're telling me put the desert obelisk right there. <laughs> I don't know if I'm if I'm comfortable doing that one. To the right of my house, in front of the shipping bin. I could move the shipping bin. I'm gonna put it behind the stable. It does block some fruit tree line of sight, but it's fine. Behind the shipping bin. Here? <laughs> I'm going to put it behind the stable. <laughs> All right. Paint job on the stable goes with the obelisk. Yo, you're right. I totally planned that too, by the way. Okay. Um, so then we would do a little bomb tech to make the greenhouse fit there. We only have to get rid of, what, these five trees. We probably should get rid of these ones as well. Okay. We can definitely look into doing that. Like I said, this day is going to have to be reset anyway, so I'm not super committed to doing that right now. But I'm going to go I'm going to go hang out at Clint and get our first cycle in here, and then we'll look into bombing that area and trying to make that work. I totally spaced on the <laughs> on the tree bombing aspect of things. It's been so long since I've done it. Fenny A, thank you for becoming a member at the Neutron level, by the way. I greatly appreciate the support and the generosity. I hope you enjoy your newfangled emotes and your sword. Careful where you swing that thing. Rock rejuvenation. Probably not worth. I have cherry bombs in my fridge on Ginger Island. I probably have more bombs at home, though, and I can, I can go buy cherry bombs from my homie if I need to. Ginger Island, it's just, like, so far out of the way. It's, it's not that far out of the way, actually, but... I guess it depends on how much the cherry bombs cost. Alright. Process geodes. Okay. Um, who... I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic. We're gonna get one, at least one banana sapling out of our first four gold coconuts here. Hold on, I gotta get my... I gotta get my, my notepad down. Anyone else joining the optimism train with me? In fact, you know what? I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to take it a step further. We're getting two banana saplings out of our first four 
cool coconuts here. We're getting two. That's not banana sapling. That's okay. We still have we still have more to work with. Okay, we still have two we still have two chances here. Okay, I only I only you're you're giving me the wrong sapling here. <laughs> That's awkward. All right, zero banana saplings out of the first four gold coconuts. That's fine. So zero to, zero to four is is nothing. Good to know. Don't be worried about it. Um, back here. The mango. All right, time for a Groundhog's Day style loop. Let's just do this. I guess we should do our pre-chopping, right? We should do our pre-chopping. Pre-chopping of the of these five trees over here. This music is fire. This music, is, sorry, this music is dancing emojis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Gotcha. No use pre chopping if we reset. I'm putting it out there in the universe that we're not gonna have to reset this time. We're just gonna get four banana saplings on on attempts four through eight here. Yeah, we only need four more banana saplings. You hate this? <laughs> what, what do you hate about this? Dragonic Moon, what do you hate? What do you hate about the, what just happened? Was it the counting? Was it get? Was it mind flooding to, to do, do all the counting? <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. Look, I don't need to be doing this. I should just go to Clint. I should just go to Clint. Or it takes up enough time to pre-chop, but I can just go, like, straight to Clint basically right afterwards. Hello, Bex. Welcome on in. Counting with Argon, but wrong. I didn't do any of the counting wrong. I was just varying up my, uh, my counting techniques. It's important to do it to keep your mind sharp. Don't have any troll trees from lightning. I was worried about that. That's part of the reason that I wanted to check with the pre-chop on, like, a resettable day. Because it is a... It was entirely possible that one of those was already slightly pre-chopped. I, I just had a good feeling about that trash can. Don't ask me why. Obviously, it was a misplaced feeling, but... Alright. What do we got here? So now we're gonna pro so we go four, one. That's pretty good actually that we're gonna get that. Two, a three, a four. Okay, done. Now we do the next four. That's five, six, seven. Eight. All right, no banana saplings in our first eight gold coconuts. That's fine. We're merely getting started right now. We're merely getting started. You know what that means. It's a one in seven chance for a, uh, for a banana sapling, if I remember correctly. So what that means is that since we haven't gotten it in eight, we're due. We're due and means we're guaranteed at least one in our next four. Why not just open them all? Because that we're on, we're not there in the in, we're not in the business of opening Omni Geodes. That's not what we're here for. We can't get banana saplings out of Omni Geodes. The Omni Geodes are merely 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 there. What the heck? I'm, my music just like cut to the next song for some reason. That was weird. The Omni Geodes are merely there to move the Geode count forward, if you will, so that we get our next four gold coconuts easier. Okay. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Say it with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And you're learning French. This is an educational stream now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now backwards. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There you go. It, it honestly took me a little more brain power to do to do it backwards than I care to admit. But we got there. Belle pronunciation. Mercy buckets. Mercy buckets. Spanish version when? Depends on how many more resets we have to do. Hindi version when? I don't know. I don't know the Hindi counting system, I'm afraid. I'm gonna be I'm gonna have to stop at Spanish, I think. <laughs> That's about all I got for you. And then we'll, you know, if it takes more than that, we'll go from there. Quick hydration break though, great time. This stream is sponsored by H2O, good old tap water. Why is water more hydrogen than oxygen, by the way? Shouldn't it be the other way around? Because we need oxygen to survive, so it should be more oxygen. Anyway, we're going to open eight Omni Geos, bring me down to 45. I shouldn't, I didn't need to bring my axe, I'm now realizing, but that's fine. The oxygen is bigger, so there's less. I guess that's true, yeah, you know, categorically that's true. I was like, how is oxygen bigger? But it literally just has more, like, protons and electrons and stuff. Not that the electrons make much of a difference in the in the size, but the protons and neutrons certainly do. All right, next four. So this is, this is 9 through 12. 9, not a banana sapling. We're due, though, so we're going to get one pretty soon. 10, okay. 11. That's kind of nice if I could, if I could get that. 12. Okay, so nine, zero, one through twelve of our gold coconuts is not, uh, are not helpful. All right. It's all right. We're, we got good luck on our banana saplings last time. I can't deny that, so we're, we're paying for it a little bit right now, but it's all good. Grab my axe, grab my pumpkin, pickle the pumpkin. Peter Piper, Piper picked a pickled pumpkin. No nanners. He just wants to give me a prismatic shard or more star shards first. I'm here for that. Uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Just pretend you're on duo, Duolingo. Uno, one, dos. Two, tres, three, cuatro, four, cinco, five, seis, six, siete, seven, ocho, eight, nueve, nine. Music is a smidge loud. I got you. Hopefully that helps. Wait, did I already chop this tree? I don't remember. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve? <laughs> I don't think I chopped that tree, no. Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. All right, perfect. Done. I need to do the Duolingo complete sound. I've never been on Duolingo. The only thing I know about Duolingo is that it's got like a little cute bird mascot. And that's basically it. The 
the cute owl is a cover, he's kind of evil. Why do all the cute ones always have to turn out to be evil ones, you know? Why, why do they gotta be like that? They lull you in and they make you want to root for them and just pinch their fuzzy little cheeks and then... And then, oops, they're, <laughs> they're evil. Alright, um... We're going down to 41. 41 Omni-Geodes. The Barbie movie was amazing. I have not yet seen it. I wouldn't mind going out to see it, though. It kind of looked like a fun time. There's Barbie and there's Oppenheimer. Those are both the movies that everybody's talking about right now. And I would not mind seeing both of them, to be honest with you. Alright, we can sell some of this stuff here. We're at the point where we're going to have to start selling some of these. Um, just sell basically everything except the Iridium. Dwarf Computer. Okay. Alright. Now we're on 13 through 16. 13. Banana Sapling incoming. Alright, I, I meant 14. I meant 14, actually. It's Alright, 15. 15 for sure, though. Like, 50, it's a nice... Alright, 16. 16 is four squared. There's no... Alright. We're gonna move on to 17. We have to do another reset here. Another another quick little reset. It's alright. Now we're extremely due. One in seven. We haven't gotten it in 16 coconuts. We're extremely due now. I don't make the rules. We're guaranteed... We're probably gonna get at least two in our next batch here. I'm not even worried about it. Where's my axe at? All right, let's count. Um, how are we gonna count next? We're gonna count in binary. Um, one, ten, eleven, one hundred, a hundred and one, a <laughs> hundred and eleven. I hold on. I'm doing the math. 1,000. 1,001. 1,001. Did I, did I, 100, 1,001, is that right? <laughs> no, 110. Did I skip 110? I skipped 110, my bad. One more, okay. So it goes 1, 10, 11, 100, 101, 110, 111 a thousand a thousand and one Morse code next this is this is the most complex I think it's gonna get one ten eleven one hundred a hundred and one a hundred and ten a hundred and eleven one thousand one thousand and one what was that what are you talking about I'm counting in binary 1, 10, 11, 100, 101, 110, 111, 1,000, 1,001. 1,010? Should I be going to 1,010? No, because it's like 8 plus... That would be 8 plus 2, which is 10, which we don't want to get there. We only want to get to 9. 1, 10, 100, 101, 110... 111, 1000, 1001. Perfect. Now you all know binary. Congratulations. One in binary is zero? No, zero in binary is zero. Now base three. We're not worried. I don't have to worry about counting ever again because we're just going to get four banana saplings this time. What are we going down to? 37? 37 Omni Geodes? 37 Omni Geodes in a dream? Okay. Let's do it. We're not going to run out of Omni Geodes. I promise. These are the last four saplings we need. Yeah, once we once we've done this, we're hopping on the money train and not stop until Gold Clock Town. Choo choo. Here's 
You're actually non-binary, so you have no idea what we're saying. Well played. <laughs> well played, Bex. All right. Okay. So we're going down to 37. 37. A little Aaronite. Where's my prismatic shard at? Undo. Soapstone. Okay. Kyanite. It's a very beautiful blue. All right. What do we got? So this is what 17 through 20 17 18 19 20 is that what we're on right now 17 okay 18 it's a lot of iridium we're passing we're missing out on here 19 19 they do exist <laughs> and we'll get back to backs right now which is pretty nice too okay well 19 all right first one is at 19 let me write that down 19 easy we finally arrived at a single banana sapling. That's one out of four. <laughs> All right, perfect. Run it back. Pumpkin axe. Pop it in there. Um, You know what? Pop the common mushroom is in as well. Why not? Go do a little pre-chopping. All right, time for a new counting system. Let me know if you've heard this one before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That wasn't so bad. What is this? Now I'm just making these up. Karidi, you got it. I was counting in hexadecimal. That was that was hexadecimal. That one. You might have. You, most of you were probably like this man's just counting normally. What the heck happened? We broke him. That was hexadecimal, dude. <laughs> it's not my fault we only had to count to nine. <laughs> Wait, quick dish of the day check. Nothing. It's garbage. I guess I could call Gus and see what the actual dish of the day would be. Do base nine, please. <laughs> that would be so confusing. Not really, but... Any particular reason we're chopping before geodes? I'm just building the muscle memory right now. We're eventually going to have to chop those on the real run because we want to get rid of those trees so we can put the greenhouse there. It's a, it's, we, we mapped it out. There's going to be a nice little spot for the greenhouse. It'll make it so we don't have to go like all the way across the farm to get the greenhouse every time. But for now, I'm just building the muscle memory and getting ready. Okay, we're going down to 33. 33 Omni Geodes, right? This is not the real run yet. No, we need to get four banana saplings. We've gotten one. <laughs> going down to 33 Omni Geodes now. Run it back. Wait, no, you're absolutely right. Cobalt, this is the run. This is the run. We're just going to get four back to back to back to back right now. Bring me down to 33. Where the coconuts are gold. And the geodes are lumpy. all our little goodies, except the iridium. So it'd be nice to keep that. And keep her going. How many farming spots do I have? I used to know this off the top of my head. 
I want to say it's like 136 farming tiles for the Junimo huts that we have right now. That's the number that's coming to mind momentarily. 138? It's somewhere in that range, yeah. Okay. 33. So that's, this is where we stop and we move on to 21 plus uh, gold coconuts in a second. Right after this break from your sponsors. Clint. This stream is sponsored by Clint. Except we're paying him. Alright. Here we go. 21, please. Okay, 22. We're getting a lot of skulls out of this. A lot of skulls in these. All right, 23. Let me write that down. Everyone write that down. 23. Okay, 23. 19 and 23 are our, our winners right now. Reset it again. Run it back. This is just life until we get there. That's two banana saplings. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Pumpkin axe. Pumpkin. No, no, wait, we're good. We're good. Okay. Next counting system. Someone give me a counting system. Give me a counting system. I'll go with the first one I see in chat. Base eight. Got you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, ten, eleven? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven. Nailed it. Irrational numbers? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're setting me up for failure with that one. Like, where do you start counting with the. Like, what's the first irrational number? It's zero point zero 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 We're gonna be here a while. Zero 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 Let me know when I should stop. Zero 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 we're almost there zero 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 and so on you just you just gotta add an and so on etc add infinitum at some point we're getting so close We've stopped. We've stopped. <laughs> Someone let Miss Palindro know we've stopped. I was, you know, I thought, I, I figured that, you know, that repetition, it might get a little, might get a little under people's skin in not a good way. All right. Let's go. What are we going to now? We're going till 29, 29 Omni Geodes. Need to count in transcendental numbers. I don't even know what a transcendental number is, to be honest with you. I never got that far in my math. Thumbs up in chat if you think we're going to need more Omni Geodes than what we currently have in order to get all the banana saplings. Wait no, thumb, thumbs up if you if you think we're if thumbs up if you're optimistic, thumbs down if you're not optimistic is basically what the what the point of that exercise is. <laughs> All right, shop, sell, 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 sell. We're honing in on the last few banana saplings. I can sense it. I can definitely sense it. We 
Yo, stay safe, Miss Palindrome. We care about you. We care about you. Take care of yourself. I can pet the animals. I can pet uh, my cat. <laughs> I can't pet most of the animals on my farm, though, unfortunately. Is there a sideways thumbs? You gotta commit one way or the other, unfortunately. Ooh, lemon stone. A little gift for our homie. I'll take it. All right. Um, I'm actually, you know what, I'll keep that. Well, we don't, you know, I'll keep it. I'll keep it right now for good luck. Homie is with us on this one. Maybe that's the extra little bit, bit of luck we need. All right, we're going down to 29. All right, 29 Omni Geodes, which means we're on to 20, this is going to be 25 through 28. Um, this is, the song is Go KK Rider, remixed by QMU. Link to their channel in the description. Alright. This is 25. 26. 27. 28. Dude, we, we've dried up so many of the banana sapling opportunities. What the heck is going on? We're 20, 28 deep? This is crazy, dude. We're officially over the odds, because 1 in 7, 1 in 7 times 4 is 1 in 28, so it's not looking great. We got two, we got, we're currently at half the odds, if that's how probability works, which I'm pretty sure it is. So many mango saplings, too. I know, they really want me to pivot to mango saplings, don't they? All right, new counting system, please. New counting system. Hindi, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I don't know. I don't know Hindi counting. Prime. Is one a prime number? Chat is one a prime number. I am a. Uh, oh my gosh, Oceana, <laughs> looking like a bot with all these finger emojis. One is not a prime number. One is just its own thing. Because a prime number has to be divisible by itself and one. It has to have the it has to have two factors, right? But and only two factors. Whereas one has one factor. Zero is prime. Zero is not prime. Zero is like the most non-prime, I thought. Because zero you can divide by like anything. Or anything multiplied by zero is zero again. Alright. Um Two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen. 11, 13, 17, hold on, I'm, I'm trying to keep track, 19, 19, I'm, 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 I'm running it back in my head, 23, I know, I know what the primes are. I'm just trying to... I don't know, like, how many primes I've already counted. <laughs> is 23 the ninth prime? 23 is the last prime. That's what I was thinking. I was like, okay. Anyways, I'm going to Clint. I, I pre-chopped one tree. It took that long. Broke my brain. Yeah, 23 is the ninth prime. And now to the soothing, dulcet tones of Professor Snail's radio. Let's go ahead and get these banana saplings, shall we? Alright, we're going down to... 25? 25, 25 Omnigeodes. Purple, welcome on in. You're here just in time for the amazing geode grind of 2023. It always comes back to geodes. Somehow, someway, we always find ourselves back at Clint's. At the behest of his hammer and unibrow, which is what it looks like from this side angle, even though it's not. Alright.
we've, we've gone through so many iterations of the geode grind that it's becoming somewhat comical at this point. Technically, we only do see one brow. <laughs> it's a very, like, surly brow, too. Sweat dripping from that bad boy for sure. Last run we got that we got the 28, didn't we? It's confusing because there's two different countings, two different counts going on here. There's the number of co gold coconut spots that we've checked, and there's the number of Omni Geos we've opened, which they're corollary, but they are different counts. We've we've checked 28 gold coconuts technically, but we've opened. I'm just we we start at 25 Omni Geodes because that'll be that correlates to we basically open 28 Omni Geodes to get to the 29th spot. Using a predictor is no fun. I'm I'm my own predictor. I am my own predictor. All right. Got to get one more. I still believe in the homie luck. Can we get some homie spam in chat for our for our lemon stone? Maybe it'll bring us a little bit of extra luck. All right, that coal. All right, we're moving on. This is gonna be 29. 29 for the homie. This these ones are for the homie. This this is the true homie run right now. 29 for the homie. Will they bring us the banana saplings we so crave? 29. 30. 31. 31! The homie! Homie came in the clutch. Can you come? Back to back bananas, though. Back to back bananas. Not quite. 31. Okay. 31. Lock it in. Lock it in and reset it. Get me out of here. Homie is doing great work. Homie's doing great work. Have a good one there, Durmeister. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Appreciate you. 192331 is a, is the current uh currently where we stand. That is absolutely correct. They're all prime numbers. <laughs> Wait, you're right. <laughs> So the next one logically is 37, right? Shoot, Miss Palindrome, what's the question about the trees we're chopping? Which, uh, hold on, a new counting system? New counting system? L give me... I, 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 V, 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 I, V, I, I, V, I, 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 X. Let's go. I, 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 V, 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 I, V, I, I, V, I, 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 X. There are two trees behind the obelisk that you'll be moving. Is it worth chopping those trees as well as they might get hit by bombs and will also spread behind the greenhouse over, over time? That's true. Yeah, you know what? I mentioned that I was going to chop those trees and I just haven't been this entire time, but there are two trees back here, three trees back here that, that we should be prioritizing as well. So when it comes to time to truly free chop all this stuff, I think that's uh that's a good call. Very good call, Miss Palindrome. Did my voice just cut? My microphone does weird things sometimes like that. Hold on, my nose is like really itchy. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm scratching my nose and I'm like moving my voice, my, my, moving my voice, moving my mouth away from the microphone. We do have a dwarf gadget saved for the farm computer recipe. I'm, I'm like 95% sure of that. I'll double check tomorrow because we do have an opportunity for a, uh, for a dwarf gadget in these Omni Geodes. And I'm pretty sure I set one aside. Okay. We're going down to 21. 21 Omni Geodes. 
and a dream. You were trying to show your sister that I was counting Roman numerals, but I stopped. Okay, we'll just start again right now. I. I, I. I, I, I. I, V. V. V, oh, hold on, we gotta wait for the VI. Wait for the VI. Okay. Keep it going, keep it going. VI. VII. VIII. X. Everyone say it with me now. Say it with me. X. We made it. Don't you mean Twitter? <laughs> the platform formerly known as Twitter? All right. Eat these for right now. We don't need to worry about them. I know Twitter has been, like, rebranded. But does anyone else's... Like, I have Twitter on my phone. I don't really check it all that often. But, like, the icon on my phone is still the bird. I don't know if that's, like, supposed to have changed yet. I've still got the Twitter bird, and I'm holding on to it for dear life. <laughs> I love that little guy. It says X for you now. Now, my, mine still says Twitter on my phone. Alright, homie brought us luck last time. We're gonna keep it going here. The homie stone. And bubblegum KK as well. Doesn't get much better than that. Bring me down to 21 Omni Geos, please. Yours changed today and you deleted the app. That's a that's a fair response. I used to have Twitter on my like bookmarks bar. Um, but ever but the icon did change on my bookmarks bar, so it was just like a little X icon. And I don't like how it looks. Like it looks like something that I shouldn't be looking at. Something non-PG13. That's what the logo reminds me of, so I like got it got rid of it off my off my bookmarks. It's just like embarrassing. All right. Are we at 21? We are at 21. Let's go ahead and... So this is going to be, what, 33? 33 through 36, this one? 33? 34? 34! We, we can stop. We can stop right there. Hold it. Hold. All right, we have... We officially have... We did break the prime number streak. But... That's totally fine. If we're going to get a banana sapling just a little bit earlier, why not? All right. These don't matter, but might as well check them. All right. Get some banana spam in chat. Actually, you know what? Hold off on the banana spam. Once we actually get our... We're going to do the true banana run now. All right. This should be the final reset. This should be the final reset. Check 37, though. That would take an entire new reset, though. <laughs> okay. All right. This should be the final reset. We're actually committing to this one. We're actually committing right now, so this pre-chop is going to count. This pre-chop counts for real. I need to be laser focused. I need to focus on in. Alright, no messing around on this one. Enough with the cute number systems, we all know. Like, let's just count this one normally, okay? Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur. Uh... Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Squirtle, Wartortle, Blastoise. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Squirtle, Wartortle, Blastoise. I didn't even need to chop that one, but it's chopped now. <laughs> That's fine. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Squirtle, Wartortle, Blastoise. What do you mean this doesn't sound normal? Oh, sorry, sorry. Turtwig, Grotal, Torterra, 
Piplup, Prinplup, Empoleon, Chimchar, Monferno, Infernape. The best generation. Um, you, got, you of course also have Chikorita, Bayleaf, Meganium, Pindaquil, Quillava, Typhlosion, Totodile, Croconaw, Feraligator. Then you got yourself Trico, Grovile, Sceptile, Torchic, Combuskin, Blaziken, uh, Mudkip, Marshtomp, Swampert. Perfect. It's perfect because there's nine every time, so you just stop at the starters. It's so good. Okay, we got we got to go through more here. You got Snivy, Servine, Superior, Tepig, Pignight, Embor, uh, Oshawott, Duwat, Samurott, Chespin, Quilladin, Chestnut, Fennekin, Bryxen, Delphox, Froakie, Frogadier, Greninja. And... Why is my brain breaking? Rowlet, Dartrix, Decidueye, Litten, Toracat, Incineroar, Oplio, <laughs> Brion, Primarina. We got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Let's never do that again. <laughs> it's harder to name the Pokemon when I don't have their, their names in front of me, it turns out. Or when I don't have their uh, their silhouettes in front of me. I don't speak Pokemon. Does anyone have a translator? It's okay. The Pokemon speak is over. I forgot the very first Pokemon in the Gen 5 Pokedex. Victini is zero. It doesn't count. We don't start counting from zero. We start counting from one. Victini is zero. So it's like, that's, that's no big deal. Victini is still there. It's just, you know, it doesn't matter as much. Where'd my, where'd my music go, by the way? My music? My, it, like, kicked me out of my own playlist. What the heck? Okay, there we go. That's where, that's where we left off. <laughs> Nerd and proud. Absolutely. Well, because I know that Victini is the zeroth Pokemon in the Unova Pokedex. I'm, a, I'm absolutely a, a big Pokemon nerd, and I'm very proud of it. All right, now we got to focus here. We got to focus on this. So, we open up 18 Omni Geodes, then one gold coconut. That's where we start. Okay, so this so we're going to get down to what? 35 Omni Geodes, then a coconut. 35 Omni Geodes. We're not opening 35, but we're bringing it down to 35. We're bringing the count down to 35. English people start counting their building stories at zero. Don't you mean the ground floor? You would have liked math more if you, it was counting with Pokemon. But then what if you have to start, like, dividing? Like, what's, what's like, you know, what's, like, Diglett divided by Meowth or something like that? <laughs> like, it starts to get confusing real quick, I think. Even more confusing than regular math. Oh, I should have checked for the farm computer component. It's okay. We'll hold on to this farm, to this, to this uh, dwarf computer, just in case. Then. Easy. It's Pikachu. It's always Pikachu. Yeah. We're closing in on our first banana sapling. First banana sapling. Get ready for it. Alright, this should be... If we've done everything right, this is a banana sapling. Okay. That's one. I just need to be very careful about how I do this, because they're much more separated than they were the last time we did this. And I'm, I'm liable to mess it up if I'm not careful. So that was 19. 
So now we need to get to 23. So we open up 20, 21, 22. So we open up, we're open up three more geodes. Three more geodes. Okay. We get the lemon stone and everything. And then banana sapling. Perfect. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. These bananas, they're, they're coming in hot and fast. Hot and ready. Ooh, hot bananas. Actually sounds kind of good. Okay. Um, sell the fairy stone. Process. Now we're going to 31. Thir so we go... What's 31 minus 23? 31 minus 23 is 8. So we need to open eight more geodes. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30. No, we need to open seven geodes. Seven geodes. Seven geodes. Seven omni geodes. Because the eighth needs to be the coconut. So we go down to 20, 25. Bring me down to 25. I almost, I almost threw. I almost messed it up right at the end here. Bring me down to 25, please. Baked banana is actually great. I think I've had like a like there was. I remember being at like a campfire or like out camping with some friends one time, and we wrapped like bananas in tin foil and threw them into the campfire and baked them that way. And they were like actually like amazingly good. I don't know if there was anything else in there with the bananas, but but I remember do I have a distinct memory of that, and they were absolutely delicious. All right, one more. Bananas are a very versatile fruit, absolutely true, which is why we want so many of them right now. Alright, now we open two more Omni Geodes. One, a two, the Lunarite, and our final banana sapling. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary friends, we have made it. Four banana saplings, that's ten total banana saplings, banana trees. Ready for our greenhouse. Oh, baby. <laughs> that feels so good. Oh, get, let's see the bananas roll in chat. Just a wall of bananas. Just a wall of banana emojis. It took a long time to get here, but here we are. All right, I'm bringing all this home with me. Victory ride through town on the back of Iota. Well done, everybody. We made it. Only took 50 minutes. <laughs> Not counting all the time we were in the volcano, like, looking for things. And trying to get banana saplings that way, too. But... Greenhouse is looking to look very pretty. Hope you have a good doctor's appointment, by the way, Haley. I saw her going in there. Now let's go blow those trees. We should wait until tomorrow to blow up the trees. Just in case I, like, mess something up here. And we then we have to, like, redo everything. So I think we sleep before we do that. <laughs> in my humble opinion. Okay. Line up the trees. Boom. Is it like this? And then, like this. There we go. It's a full greenhouse, officially. And our first banana sapling is actually fully grown as well. I didn't even... I didn't even notice that, but we ha we already have bananas growing. It took us that long to get all our banana saplings, but that by the time we planted our last ones, the first one is actually ready to go. Who would have thought? Perfect. The banana trees are smiling. It is a little smile, isn't it? Look at that. It's like a little smiley face. Get some smiley faces in chat. mushroom check as well while we're here. Why not? Watch the very next goal be craft the keg. I don't think it can be because that's a farming level requirement, but in principle, maybe, maybe the randomizer will break just so it can be for the pure irony of it. What do we need the bananas for again? They're the most profitable fruit by a margin of 10 gold per fruit. So, so never say I'm not a min-maxer. Never say I'm not a min-maxer. All right. 
They go in there. These go in here. Okay, what are we... So now, now we're officially... Officially, well, starting, we're going to have to move the greenhouse, but we're basically ready for sleepy money time, right? Sleepy money, baby. Welcome back in, Justin. Welcome on in. How many silos do I have? I have four silos. I think we made sure to do the math to make sure I have enough hay for all the animals for winter. So, like, I'll need to refill eventually here, but it should be fine for right now. This early on in the season, I don't anticipate having to refill. Okay. Take my axe. Take my scythe. Um, honestly, don't really need the salads on me. We're not going to be doing anything that's very energy intensive. I'll bring, take these with me. Take these with me. Take these. Is there anything else I should just have in my inventory ready to go? Like, these are for seed makering purposes. or Well, seed makering and, uh, and preserves jar plus keg. Anything else I need in my inventory for the long haul here? For the long sleep? Also, I want to do this, otherwise it's going to drive me crazy. Need to refill my hay every 20 days? Alright, so we still got some leeway. Thank you for the double check there. Miss Palindrome. Enjoy lurking, Fenny. Can you get some sevens for my lurkers, by the way? I haven't appreciated the lurkers in a good while. This feels like a good time. Lurkers. The back blood and backbone and lifeblood of the stream. If you've been lurking, doing anything, playing video games, doing chores, exercising, homework, working from home. How many lurkers we got in here today? Is it is it lurker paradise or are the lurkers more active today? Jalopy, jalopy lurkin, Xavia, Lesbi, Lesbian, Karita with the three point five, Bell, Cygnus, Benny Dreamly three point five, Sun Floracle. Zipora, Z Zeta Rose, Catherine F, CT Young, Purple with the 3.5, Epsilon Aphrodite, Hollis with the 07, Nico Coer, Cobalt Cryptid working on your own randomizer run. Hopefully, you have a better task than this. Uh, Fissy, Conkles to the max with 11. I'm not sure what it means, but I respect it. JC, Sale MC, Pato with the negative 7. The anti lurker, dog dot cat, Liz, and so many others. So many other lurkers. Thank you so much for uh, for enjoying the stream and just being here, doing your own thing. I'm happy to be the background noise to whatever you happen to be doing. Whether you got me on on primary monitor, secondary monitor, tertiary monitor, or otherwise, I'm happy to be here. You just had to Google what 07 meant. Dog Dog Cat, thank you for being a member for 15 months as well, by the way, at the Electron level. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciating the Lurkers is so nice of you. I recognize the fact that, like, the majority of people in most streams are Lurkers. And they're not Lurkers. They're not, like, not chatting because, like, they don't want to chat or they, they, they you know... Maybe, I mean, maybe they don't want to chat, but... They're not doing it out of, like, animosity or maliciousness. They're doing it because, like... They have nothing to say, and they're just enjoying the vibes of the stream for in whatever capacity they want to enjoy them. And I am often a lurker myself, so I feel I feel the need to to appreciate the lurkers just because they they really do a lot for the stream just by being here. Do I count driving as lurking because you're being a safe driver? Lunar Shadow, I would say dri drivers are the are the ultimate lurkers because they they're mandatory lurkers. If you're driving and not lurking, then I have like, serious concerns. <laughs> Alright. Are we ready for tomorrow? I think we go to sleep now. We've planted the banana saplings. We're going to move the greenhouse tomorrow. That's the next order of business. And then, then and only then, I think we start our, our grand sleep. The gold clock is legit useless. For us, it's not going to be super useless. It's going to be, I mean, being, not having to worry about debris after we get the gold clock is actually going to be kind of a nice boon. Especially since we have so much of the challenge still left to go after this. Okay. Uh, we're bombing. We're bombing these trees now. 
there are there is this rock here and these rocks here that I'm mildly concerned about. Let's see if we have cherry bombs. Cherry bombs would be nice to finesse with. I know I've got the ones on Ginger Island. We have just regular bombs here. That's probably worth doing instead for right now. Do trees still spread? I believe trees do still spread, so they're not going to help us that much on that front, but it is what it is. Hold on, do I have shuffle on on my loop playlist? Shuffle playlist. Okay, yes. Okay, so I just want to make sure my music is set up right here. Right-ish. Cherry bomb should have an alt recipe using actual cherries. That would be pretty funny, actually. I'd be here for that. Dude, my nose is so itchy today. I don't know what's going on. If I got, like, a mosquito bite on my nose or something. All right. If I put a bomb, like, way over here on the far farthest most point that I can, I think this is a good spot for a bomb. Okay. Nailed it. And now we pre-chop all these. One, two, three, four. 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 Counting with Argon. Do it again. Run it back. Perfect. Okay. Now it's just these three trees we gotta hit. Do you think I can finesse it? How, like, what's the range on a bomb? It's a five by five circle. So if I put one here, it's gonna be one, two, three, four. It will hit that rock. If I put put it like one over, like I think if I put put one like right here, I'm gonna hit those trees, but not the rock. Correct. Correct. It even hit the lowermost tree, which I wasn't sure that it would, but I'm happy that it did. Alright, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay. One extra bomb right there. I think that's the right spot. Perfect. Okay. That's all the trees. That should now once we move the desert obelisk, that should be enough room for our greenhouse. If we've done the math correctly, and I believe we have, we're about to have side-by-side -side greenhouse house tech, and that's going to make life for the next tower long so much more enjoyable. <laughs> make it such a shorter trek down there. Also, I got a very quiet sunroom song playing right now. Bump that up a little bit. Hopefully that's not too loud. I gotta get a better system for this audio setup, to be honest, though. Go to the wizard instead of instead of Robin. But Robin is open now. I kind of want to give her the honors. I'm going to Robin. It looks so empty over there now. Holy moly. The vibes. The vibes are always on point with this song. It's so good. Why are we mass producing fall seeds? Because fall seeds sell for more than the common mushrooms that you put in. We could just sell the common mushrooms directly, but the fall seeds, even just one fall seed sells for more than a common mushroom. And you can get up to three from one common mushroom, so... Even if, as long as we get at least one, which we always will, unless we get mixed seeds, we're good. All right, construct farm buildings, move farm buildings. Move that right over here. And now greenhouse. Greenhouse is going to slide right in. It's a perfect fit. It's very, very snug right between those two trees. But it fits. It's there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that feels so good. That feels so good. Q Limp, we are trying to pre prevent leveling up on our skills because the randomizer that we're playing with 
Um, some of the random goals are to level up in a skill, so we're not allowed to do it until we get those goals. It is... But that was so... Did you see how perfect that greenhouse placement was? That was so unbelievably satisfying. <laughs> it just slotted in there so nicely. It's like it was planned. <laughs> All right. No more messing around. I think we're pretty much done here. I think we're we're good to go into full sleep mode, aren't we? We go into sleep mode and we pop out only for whatever various chores we need to do. Thank you for the energy tonic, Pam. Don't really need that, but I'll sell it. It's probably a decent amount of money right there. She's just trying to make sure I get all the vitamins that I need while I'm sleeping, because she, know, she knows I'm in for the long haul. She knows I'm going to need some vitamin supplements. But <laughs> joke's on her, I just want the money. I don't care about my health. It's all about that money. <laughs> Unfortunate, but true. It's just the situation we're in. Okay. Coma time? I think we're good. Yeah, I think I think we're officially in sleep mode. Let's just let's just let's do it. Let's hop to it. Hibernation status active. 500 gold from an energy tonic. Hibernation starting halfway through winter. <laughs> All right, I feel like I should move the seed maker closer to my bed <laughs> because I'm going to be using the seed maker like basically every single day. I know I chopped it while I was still processing. It's not that big of a deal though. Like, what if I just put it... I'm just going to put it right there. I know it's still a little bit of a walk, but it's not that bad now. At least I don't, I don't even have to leave my dang bedroom now. All right. And we just... We sleep until multiples of three. We go out on multiples of three days, right? And then we got the pumpkin there. Perfect. Would it be worth growing the wild seeds in the garden pot? Someone said you'd, you don't get XP from it. Only so you can get the forgeables in case you need to ship them. You can only water once every three days. I, I think there probably is some merit to that, but I don't want to overcomplicate things too much here. I think we're I think we're in a good spot. We worked very hard to get to where we're at right now, with the fruit tree set up, the preserves jars, everything everything going. Unless there's a big shakeup that would make us a lot of extra money, I don't think I'm gonna worry too much about changing the process here just we just gotta trust the process at this point boom someone said you could put a garden pot in the greenhouse you don't remember though i'll look into it i'll look into it between streams and see if there's anything worthwhile there if, if i feel like it would be worth our time to do it but for right now i'm not gonna be too concerned All right, new pumpkin juice. Keep it going. And you know what I'm also going to do? I'm going to put my... I just realized I, sh I should put my jades. Well, I'll just hold on to my jades for right now, but I'll put them in that chest eventually when my inventory gets full. What was it? You don't get farming XP, but you get foraging XP when you do... I, th I thought there was something about garden pots too, like garden pots not giving XP from from forage seeds, though. Like that sounds familiar to me. Don't quote me on it, but it, it definitely sounds familiar. So I don't know. I'll have to look into it again. Like not giving foraging or farming XP. Do I have a hoodie on this file? Do we have a hoodie on this file? Forever Pluie. We've got like six hoodies. <laughs> I think some something like that. I would hope by exclamation point year, whatever year we're in right now, I think it's year nine, that we would have at least one hootie. And they are protecting our farm with everything they've got. Second banana tree is ripe now. One thing that's going to be a little bit suspect is that 
Like, we're going to sleep so fast that our animals aren't going to have... I know it doesn't matter right now in winter, but during the seasons when they can go outside, they're not going to have enough time to, like, go out... Ooh, ancient seed. I'll take that. <laughs> they're not going to have enough time to go out and... consume the grass, right? So we're going to need, like, even more hay. Speaking of, I'm actually going to go load up my hay right now before I forget. Pretty sure all this should fit in our silos. So our silo's at right now. Alright, we should be good for the rest of the winter, I think. Hold on, chat. I'm gonna go take a very short break to like blow my nose. I don't know what the heck is going on with my nose right now. There's it's just like very itchy, and I'm just gonna go see if I can if I can resolve that by blowing it. In the meantime, I will send you off to the saloon. I'm gonna send you off to the saloon. Make sure you get your orders in with Gus. And uh enjoy. Hold on a second. I gotta remember where the saloon. Hold on. Hold on. Uh swap you? Yeah. I'll probably also mute this. Okay. Alright, I'll be right back. Just give me one moment. Okay, I'm back. Hey, what, what did you guys order me? What did you guys order me while I was gone? I hope you ordered yourselves something nice, but like, did you order, did you save anything for me? Well, well I was like, I was kind of counting on you guys. A lasagna hog? What the heck's a lasagna hog? <laughs> That's, uh, I mean, I'm a lasagna hog. I'll hog all the lasagna for sure. Awkward. Bananas? Oh, you shouldn't have. You re you really shouldn't have though. I've I've got I've got a few bananas off my own. <laughs> All right, let me bring us back here, and onward we go with the money train. Uh, it's day fifteen. Greenhouse time. Wait, I already went to the greenhouse. I'm a fool. I'm, al I'm already done. I'm already done. I just I chopped down these seeds. You didn't order anything? You'll take a pretzel? Do you mean like a whole big pretzel or just like one of those snack size pretzels? One of them is very different than the other. Oh. Not a hootie. More like a scooty from outer space. It scooted out of the meteor belt and onto our farm. Look at 
a little meteor check. Oh, I forgot we're doing our daily farm photo thing. I should go outside like every day then to make sure that I get my daily farm photo. All right, these two were already here. Where's our third meteor though? I'm pretty sure those two were already there. Unless I'm taking crazy pills. Which has been known to happen at times, but I, I want to know where this other meteor is now. They usually all land in like one little area around here. Maybe, do you think it's over on Greenhouse Island? The island formerly known as Greenhouse Island? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> meteor saw that we, uh, that we moved the greenhouse and it decided this is my time. It's the only time I'm going to get to do this. <laughs> That's so good. Space Urchin Island. Sounds like a level from Super Mario Galaxy. The Poly Meteors. Alright. Love to see it. You only have three Meteors? You, you have ten? What year are you in, uh, Spookgeist? Are you in the same year as me? Are you in year nine and you have ten meteors? Because that seems that seems above average to me. <laughs> that seems above average personally, but maybe I'm a fool. Big day. Big day for produce today. Year fifteen. That's a, that sounds a little more accurate then. If you're in year 15 and you have 10 meteors, that's still probably above average. But it's not as far above average as I thought it was going to be. All but our final four banana saplings are now producing as well, which is very good to see. The banana money is going to be rolling in very, very quickly. Load it all in there. Load it all up. I'm excited to see, because I think on the... I think my plan right now is that on the first day of every season, we'll do, a, like, a selling run. We'll, like, run and sell everything that we've acquired to Pierre. Pierre and or Marnie. Don't eat the common mushroom, please. And obviously, this is not going to be like a full season worth of produce. We're going to have more money on this than this in future seasons. But I'm still excited for like the first real money grinding season. To see how well it does. How efficient of a like self-sustaining farm can we produce? Because our farm is basically self-sustaining at this point. We, we hardly do anything. We go out to collect the stuff and that's about it. <laughs> The geode trick did work on all the coconuts, yeah. We managed to get all the banana saplings. We got a full greenhouse of fruit trees. It's a beautiful sight. Some might look at this greenhouse and be like, that's a lot of wasted like farming space that you got right there, but as far as I'm concerned, this is the best thing we could ever do with our greenhouse in this run. Eat common mushroom? I don't think I will. Thank you. Yo, are we talking about palindromes? Race car? Race car? It's about the extent of it. <laughs> I do love a good palindrome, for sure. I kind of even love a bad palindrome. Like, Noon? Noon isn't a very interesting palindrome, but it is a palindrome all the same. And that makes it at least noteworthy. I do want to go outside. I don't know if it's worth it to go outside to, to get our farm screenshot every single day. But I've been doing it for so long. I know I've definitely missed some screenshots, especially when I was on Ginger Island, but... I kind of want to keep the tradition going, just, you know, for posterity's sake. I might change my tune, depending on how long it takes to get all our money here, but we'll see. 
also, um, would you guys be interested at all in a... Like, in seeing how much money we could get from the casino at any point here? I don't know if, like, I want... I'm probably going to break up the monotony of the sleeping with Skull Cavern at some point. But the casino is also there and also an opportunity to make a decent chunk of money, depending on the time that we commit to it. And I'm kind of curious to try it out. Could be a fun day. Yeah, I don't know how long we would do it for. I don't know if I would commit, like, necessarily a full stream to, to the casino part. Because the slots, like, if we just play the slots over and over, they're, like, in our favor in this game. So it's really not gambling. Even though it is gambling, it's not gambling. If that makes sense. Boom. Maybe as a separate stream for anyone who wants to avoid gambling content. That's, to that's totally fair. banana. <laughs> the bananas, they're, it's so nice. They're so satisfying to see after all this time, after knowing how much work went into getting all these banana saplings. It feels so good. Oh wait, Feast of the Winter Star? Should I be like, should I go to the Feast of the Winter Star? <laughs> Pro it's probably not worth it, is it? Like, at all? Thanks for the battery, Pam. I don't even know who my secret gift person was, because I didn't read the mail. Probably not worth going to the Feast of the Winter Star, to be honest. I don't think there's anything of interest for us there. Plus, I'd just be giving trash to whoever. So it's like, like yes, they, whoever I am supposed to give a gift to just won't get a gift at all. But the alternative is that they get like a bag of trash, literally. So, Demetrius. T-Set? T-Set could be fun, but... Nah. Isn't it in your journal? You're probably right. But I'm lazy. Have a good one there, Annika. Thanks for hanging out. Final harvest day of winter, although tomorrow I probably should go out and clear out whatever- Oh, I, should, I also need to pickle more pumpkins here. Pick a pickled pumpkin. I also need to- Or I should go out tomorrow and, like, chop down whatever little seeds that I happen to notice. Just to make sure that our farm doesn't get too overrun, you know? debris we have to worry about during winter and nothing i tried this i try to stay ahead of it with the grass starters at the start of the season but there's only so much you can really do right our oceana is the only oceana you've ever met to be honest i wasn't even sure that oceana was like uh your real name oceana it sounds like it could be, like, just, like, a username, because I've never heard it, met anyone nam named Oceana either, but it's a great name. I love it. It rolls off the tongue quite nicely. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I thought I thought it was, I part of me just thought, like, it was just, like, a, like a username made up, but that's cool to know it's your actual name. All right. All right, let's go do a little seed cleanup. It's time for a winter roundup, winter roundup. Let's finish our holiday cheer. Winter roundup, winter roundup. No, it's winter wrap-up. It's winter wrap-up. I'm a failure. I'm a failure of a fan. It's been so long since I've heard the song, though, in fairness.
Three months of winter coolness and awesome holidays. We've kept our hoopsies warm at home, time off from work to play. But the food we've stored is running out and we can't grow in this cold, so true. And even though I love my boots, this fashion's getting old. Wait, no, this fashion's still on point, right? The time has come to welcome spring and all things warm and green, but it's also time to say goodbye. It's winter, we must clean. How can I help? I'm new, you see. What does every pony do? How will I fit in without magic? I haven't got a clue. Dude, I gotta watch that show again. It's been it's been too long since I've actually sat down and watched an episode of of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. It got me through some rough times and when I was uh when I was younger for sure. If I found that show in a very at a very good time for me. I don't think I I don't know if I would ever be able to like sit down and like watch through the entire series again. It seems like a heck of a commitment, but just like a few episodes here and there, a few of my favorite episodes. I'd be down for it. Got you through some tough times recently. Hope everything's going a bit better now, uh, Miss Palindrome. It's just such a nice feel-good show, you know. It, it's it has the 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 right vibes and right energy to get you through some some really nasty stuff if you're open to it. The later seasons went downhill, sadly. I I see. I know where you're coming from. I, I've watched every season. I've watched every season for the record. I watched all nine seasons as they were coming out. Well, I didn't watch the first two as they were coming out. I, I got into it at the end of Season 2, and I watched 3 through 9 as they were coming out. Um, I see where you're coming from, that it went downhill, but, like, there were still some diamonds in the rough. Like, I was I was a pretty big... I was a pretty big fan of Season 9, to be honest with you, from what I remember about it. I remember it being a lot of fun. And even some of the episodes that, you know, aren't as great and don't hold up as well... It's, they still just put a smile on your face. They at least put a smile on my face. Part of that's definitely going to be the nostalgia talking, but a big part of it is also that's just, you know, that's just the show. <laughs> the show is just really good at doing that. Yeah, My Little Pony. Rainbow Dash having your turtle hibernate was something that resonated with you heavily. I am very sorry to hear that, because that's very much a clear allegory for something else, so my heart goes out to you. Alright, how are we doing as far as seeds go here? I'm almost out of energy just from chopping all these seeds, which is kind of wild. But it's an important task to take care of. Part of me wants to, like, bomb this hardwood forest that's at some point in the near future here. I feel like we are... Just eat one of these. I feel like we're at the point where we're probably going to want to chop it down pretty soon so I don't have to manage it as much. And you know what's good now is that if I, if I, if I wanted to, I could get rid of the hardwood forest entirely because I have access to mahogany seeds via gold coconuts now, so it would be a little bit... It would be it would take a little bit to actually get a mahogany seed, don't get me wrong, but we can get experience-free mahogany seeds now, <laughs> which is super cool. What about the grass starters? The grass starter... We've already put our grass starters in for the, for the season. We did that at the start of the season. That's why there's little tufts of grass everywhere. It's all going to spread towards the start of spring here. The blue discus. The blue discus have been chilling here for so long. What do they even want? <laughs> I guess I guess we can't possibly know because I can't check it without grabbing that produce. All right, I think we're good as far as little seedlings go. Pop this away. Pop this away. I think this goes in here. Yeah. Perfect. I 
And you know what? I should sell something. So why don't we sell these fall seeds just so we can see the New Year's message as it rings in the New Year here? Chat, are you ready? We're about to go into year 10 of the randomizer. We're about to hit double digit years. This is a big moment. It hasn't been officially 10 years of the randomizer. That'll come at the end of year 10, but we're going into year 10 now, which is pretty crazy. Let me, let me, I, I need to open up Nightbot to get ready for this moment. Nightbot with the, with the year command. Get your party poppers in chat. Put them in, but don't press enter yet. We, we've got to wait until we count down to New Year here. It's going to be a very special moment. You only get, you only get year 10 every so, every, like it doesn't come around every day. It certainly does not come around every day. Should have checked on the day I was going to reset the fish pond. Yeah, that would have been smart. Also, turn down the turn down the vibes for a second. All night was getting a little loud, I think. Alright. Everyone ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And a half? Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Year 10 has arrived. Oh, baby, that's... And we've made almost $5 million in those 10 years. Holy moly. Look at, look at the party going on in chat. Where were you when Beatrix reached 10 years in her randomizer farm? Year 10. Submit that. Nightbot should be caught up now. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. All right. Here's the 10 more. <laughs> Let's get it going. Uh, so this is our money day, though. This, this is an important day. This is money day. We are going to go actually, for the first time, sell a bunch of this stuff. So let's... Let's get things sorted here. What are we selling? Let's put away all the stuff I don't need for right now. What should I start with, I guess? Well, let's start with... Oh my gosh, it's so... <laughs> you know what? I should grab... I'm going to keep my axe on me just to... Well, no, I'll, I'll come back and do debris clearing after that. Wait, cherry wine? Cherry wine's taking a back seat, unfortunately, for the time being. Okay, let's let's clear this out for right now. 07 to the cherry wine collection. It had a good run, but we need that keg for more profitable things for the time being. Okay. Perfect. Now let's go make sure the animals are able to get out. Let's check our silos while we're going down here now as well. I don't think I, I don't think I left the door open during the winter. 144 hay. I'll have to keep an eye on that for sure because they're gonna go through the hay. Is the is the real problem? They're gonna go through it since they're not gonna be able to get out every day and and eat. Not all 48 of them. <laughs> is my fence? My fence is still here. It's just impossible to see because of the grass. <laughs> All right. Be free, my animal friends. It's been a long winter, I know, but welcome out. Welcome on out. You have, you've, you've made it. Congratulations. I can't make it to that box because the, there's a fence in the way. I know it doesn't look like there's a fence in the way, but trust me, there's a fence in the way. <laughs> All right. Time for some, time for some animal produce check, actually. Okay. Should I, I? I should just sell like all my, all my milk, really, all the milk. Should I leave the regular quality milk? I'm just gonna sell. I'm just gonna sell it all, to be honest with you. Daily screenshot is gonna be interesting over time for sure. Hold on, I gotta. I want to try and get into this coop, but it's a little bit crowded right now. 
Pardon, pardon. I just need to get into the coop without petting any of you, if, if you don't mind. If you don't mind. <laughs> okay, made it in. Made it. Um, you know what? I should I should commit to just I should just get all the milk, all the milk from both barns, and then go from there. Part, part. Okay, I, this is this is this is a little awkward. This is gonna be a little awkward trying to get in here. Okay, we got it. Go go go. Okay, milk, 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 milk. All right, that's a good start. This is a good start. We'll fill up the rest of our fruit that we've gathered as well over the past season. And we'll see how much money we can make from this. That is such a full chest. You mean auto grabber? Ahem. Keep one regular of each for shipping goals. I have to lose friendship with them. I have to lose friendship with them to get regular quality later. That's true, yeah. I should keep... I, I think I am... I am keeping some regular... Maybe I should just bring some regular up and keep it, like, in my fridge or something like that. Anyway, let's grab the pomegranates. There's a radium quality here, but we can't fit them just yet. The peaches and the bananas. And let's just, let's just commit to this for right now. Let's go sell our first load here. <laughs> We're going to have to make a few pilgrimages out to Pierre's to sell everything, but... It's going to be worth it in the long run. How much are we going to get for this first batch is the real question. This, lo this looks like a very profitable batch to me. This looks like a quite the profitable batch. How good is our money-making technique so far? That was what? That was like three hundred thousand dollars right there, something like that. We were at like one point four something million. Now we're at one point eight almost. <laughs> that was that was very satisfying. And that's only one load. That's that's only the first of many. <laughs> All right, what else am I selling? Is that one year or one season? That's basically one season right there. All right. Um, grab these. Let's just grab. Oh, I'm gonna need. I need to plant my seeds today as well. The ancient seeds. Wait, what am I planting other than ancient seeds? Because I don't have enough ancient seeds to fill up everything else. What else should I be planting this season? Because I should buy the seeds from Pierre while I'm there next time. If I'm if I'm buying anything from him, or am I buying them from like Sandy or something? Cranberries. Just get the, get all the cranberries out of here, to be honest. Actually, you know what? Leave those for right now. It's not really worth it to take them. Coffee? I don't have coffee beans, though. I don't have I don't have the means for coffee beans. Have a good one there, Pata. Something that keeps producing. What's a regrowing crop in spring? That would be green beans? Strawberries or rhubarb? Strawberries? I don't have... I'd have to wait until the Egg Festival to do that, but it's probably worth the wait, right? I mean, we're going to be planting ancient fruit, that goes without saying. But we don't... We have more tiles than 68 to fill up. Cauliflowers into strawberries? Cauliflowers into strawberries makes sense to me. All right. That said, let's go grab, um, let's go grab some more animal produce here. Also, if I'm not mistaken, red mushrooms. Red mushrooms get sold just like that. Easy. All right. Strawberries are good when you're using a greenhouse. In, in ordinary cases, absolutely. In our case, it's going to be a little more... <laughs> a little more involved than that. Not much more. The Junimos will have us covered. Okay. Let's go check the coops now. Grab our eggs. Pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, get me in there. Okay. 
All right, we're looking for iridium quality eggs of all types. Iridium quality. There's not that many in here. We must we must have cleared this out not that long ago. Now that I'm looking at it, uh, iridium quality duck eggs. Grab the iridium quality wool as well. Let's make another run. Have a good one there, Dragonic Moon. Thanks for hanging out. And oh, let's well, we should probably grab them from this coop as well over here. <laughs> it's kind of the whole point of having double coops and double barns is double the produce, right? All right, eggs, eggs. Uh, <laughs> all right, we don't have don't have the gold star brown eggs. That's fine. Okay. All right, I have sixty-eight ancient fruit seeds. If we're going off the assumption or the belief that I have 138 spots to grow crops, then that means I should get 70 cauliflowers. If my math is correct on that one, 70 cauliflowers. I think at least one backpack upgrade would be, would be worth it. I would be so down for a backpack upgrade, but it's one of the randomizer goals. <laughs> Because I thought that would be a, a really cute idea. Alright. Sell, 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 sell. Decent chunk of change. That actually, that wasn't even, that wasn't even 100,000. What the heck? I guess the eggs just aren't worth, I mean, we didn't have as many eggs and they're not worth that much. So that's understandable. All right, cauliflower seeds. Buy the cauliflowers. It's just torturing yourself. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Oceana, I'll be streaming today, obviously, tomorrow, and uh, Friday. Those are my stream days. Schedule is posted on the community tab every Sunday, as well as on the Discord. Alright, what else am I selling here? What else do I need to sell to Pierre? Um, is there anything even like worth taking in to, to sell right now? Or is that is that our selling run done? Wait, maybe I should check the Junimo huts to see if they have anything worth selling. Yeah, we're gonna plant the ancient seeds today, but I mean we I got time. Pierre is time limited, the I but the seeds I can plant late at night if I need to. Okay. Do I have... I think there was... Was there more in this one? There's nothing in that one. Okay, it's the other one then. This one's probably going to be only a three-hour stream, yeah. Okay, what else is here? I mean, the regular quality stuff just doesn't seem that worth it to take in. I think we just leave it for right now. We leave it to accumulate a little bit more. You just meant that I know I'd, I'd know how many I have left to buy. I'm trusting the 138 figure. That sounds like pretty accurate to me. Sure, I'll sell all these. That's fine. One last little baby run here. This is partly why I think I should wait to sell um, the animal produce, though. Like, I don't, I don't know if I should sell it every season, because I don't know if it's worth it to sell it every season. I feel like it might take longer than that to accumulate a sizable amount. So maybe it's better to wait just, like, until the halfway point of the year or something like that. Like, every two seasons instead of one. Dinosaur eggs sell for 350G at regular quality. Can I sell them directly to Pierre, or do I have to ship them? Because are they are the, dinosaur eggs aren't part of the shipping collection, right? Because they're an artifact, so they shouldn't be. So I can just I can just ship the dino eggs.
I don't know if I should be selling the rabbit's feet either. I, I should probably keep the iridium quality rabbit's feet as far, as far as, like, great love gifts for most people. But the other rabbit's feet I should probably sell. I think you're right about that. Where was our dino? It's okay, I can wait. Look, you're not even supposed to go into this building, you silly cow. <laughs> what are you doing in here? We have three gold quality dinosaur eggs as well. And four silver quality? I'll take it. I will take it. Duck feathers are good for Ellie and Leo. True. Very that's that's the only they're the only ones that are good there. Please. Oh my god. <laughs> I got a little greedy. I got a little greedy trying to get in there. Well, run it back. That sucks. <laughs> got a little greedy on that one. I'm not going to lie. That's that's on me. That's on me. Now, now we're going to have to go and redo all the selling. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's It's fine, chat. It's all just peachy. More efficiently this time? I thought I was doing pretty efficiently. <laughs> Alright, grab the fruits. Grab the fruits. Anything else I need to grab from this chest? Honestly, I'll grab the red mushrooms just to ship. Let's leave it there for right now. Thank you, Bex. Thank you. <laughs> I need the vote of confidence after, after bungling that one a little bit. Leave small milk and goat milk. I will... I can leave... Some, yeah. Or I can leave... I guess I only need to leave one, really, of each for shipping purposes. Alright. Keep some milk for cooking. I mean, the, the milk, I can use any milk and any eggs for cooking, so that doesn't matter as much. But I'm with you that I need to leave at least one for, um, for shipping purposes. Alright, maybe I leave the animals inside for right now until, <laughs> until I am ready to let them out here. Alright, let's grab all the milk. All the good quality milks. Um, that's just silver quality regular milk. That's not that big of a deal. Boom. Okay. Creative use of the greenhouse. Creativity is what this challenge is all about at the end of the day. Alright, the regular stuff. Um... I guess I have the silver quality regular milk in the other thing that I can... I might as well add it all up into one pile here. No, that's like the big thing I love about this challenge is that you have to get so creative in so many different aspects in order to actually... <laughs> in order to actually thrive in any way. I think we've built a pretty nice farm given the stipulations that we've had to endure so far. Like being on gear 10, having the farm look like this without barely any skills... Very little that we've been able to ship or do anything with. To, to have a farm like this, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. I'm very proud of us. Where are we getting all these jugs? <laughs> the jugs come from the cows. I thought, I thought, isn't that how it works in real life? How's the fishing video going? It's going amazingly well, Benny. I am almost up to the point where I have... Uh, surpassed my previous progress on it before it got deleted, so. I'm very, very happy with how it's, how it's coming out so far. Alright. Quick little reselling session. Honestly, I, I did it on purpose. I pet the animal on purpose so I get the reset and I get to have that dopamine rush of that all of all that money again. We got even more money that time. It was more efficient selling. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Technically, every milk starts off in a bag. You're not wrong.
yeah, cows produce the jugs. They like stomp. That's that's why they're like walking around in the fields all the time. They're gathering clay to make the jugs for their milk. And obviously, brown cows also produce chocolate milk. It doesn't work that way in, in Stardew Valley for some reason. I'm not sure why. I guess Concerned Ape just didn't want to code chocolate milk into the game. It's weird that it's like scientifically inaccurate like that, but it uh, it is what it is. All right, let's grab the wool there. Wool is actually worth a decent amount, I believe. Um, the duck... We don't have that many duck feathers to sell, honestly, here. Silver Star ones here are probably worth. Um, gold quality duck eggs as well. Take that. Chocolate milk cows will be in haunted chocolatier. I honestly kind of believe, kind of believe that they will. I think you're absolutely on, on the money with that one. All right. Grab the gold qualities, grab the iridium qualities. Gold quality, iridium quality, silver quality, silver quality. Uh, iridium quality void egg, and iridium qual or gold quality void egg as well. We don't have room for the silver quality void eggs, that's fine. We'll come back for the dinosaur eggs. Sh just ship them all directly, also grab the wool there, why not? Um, anything else we're missing out on here? I don't believe so. I'm gonna go ahead and let the animals out now. I feel like I'm not gonna go back into any of their pens at this point. I think I've gathered... I mean, there's still stuff in there to sell, don't get me wrong, but there's not enough of it that would justify another trip to Pierre, in my opinion. Let's just do this. I will have to go in to get the dinosaur eggs now that I think about it, but that's fine. I can I can make it in one time. I'll be patient on that one. Plus, I feel just bad keeping all the animals cooped up like that on such a nice spring day here. Alright. One more selling extravaganza. Will we get up to 1.9 milli with, with, with this uh, inventory here? Place your bets now. Ooh, we just made it. Just, well, actually, we're quite a bit over. <laughs> Still. All right. Boom, boom. Not bad. Cooped up. All right, I've got the cauliflower seeds. I've got ancient seeds that I'm going to plant back at home. Smooth sailing so far. 1.91 million. You're pretty much bang on there, <laughs> Oceana. Yeah, that's absolutely true. All right, let's go grab the dinosaur eggs. We'll ship them, and then we will. I think go. We'll, we'll have to. We'll do some debris clearing as well today. Make sure to take care of that. And then we'll go and we'll plant our seeds as well. Definitely didn't cheat. All right, we just got it. We have to wait for the doors to clear a little bit here. Don't mind me. I'm just I'm just the one who takes care of you. Okay. <laughs> all right, we're good. Grab all these. You know we can make one more run to Pierre's. Why not? Sell the duck feathers. Just the high quality duck feathers, though. The other ones we can save for gifts potentially. Our void eggs are just like base quality void eggs worth a decent amount. I honestly don't know. Please do not get in my way. Thank you. Okay. They are. Like, how much is one base quality void egg worth with no professions or anything like that? I have to, I have to imagine a decent chunk. They're worth 15 gold more than regular eggs. Well, gosh darn! Isn't that just the plum best? Let's go ahead and sell our dinosaur eggs. Shouldn't I keep the iridium feathers for gifts? We'll get more iridium feathers. <laughs> 
I'd rather have the money at this point. We're still early on enough in the grind that we're we're still for sure going to see more Iridium Feathers and stuff like that, so I'm not concerned. Let's just get what money we can right now. Not bad. 1.93 million from our first season's worth of produce. I will happily take that. Yeah, gifts will come later. Right now, I mean, we have so much money that we have to make. We still have to make over 8 million gold <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. Granted, we haven't gotten into our... We haven't gotten into, like, seeds or, like, or like crops, I guess I should say. Or anything like that. And we're not in full swing just yet. Okay. Um, ooh, iridium-quality pomegranates. I'll bring that in on the next batch, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it's worth doing another run here. Okay, let's just grab our seeds. I don't think I'll need my hoe. It should still all be pre-tilled. Pre because I left all the, like, dead crops over there. After ten years, we're still early in the grind. Alright, we leave the fiber. Because the fiber pr protects us from other types of more harmful debris. I remember that. Kurt, that was a that was a blade exclusive tip right there. Just hit whatever seeds I I happen to stumble upon. Perfect. All right. I do need my hoe. No. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. I'm not concerned about it. I don't know why I'm hitting those with my axe. That feels weird. I'm just glad that no actual, like, like stones or wood or anything spawned on this area of the farm. That's fine. And I left the dead crops there specifically for this reason, so I wouldn't have to worry about, like, hoeing and watering and everything, but joke's on me at the end of the day, I guess. It's fine. It's a nice, soothing way to spend the rest of the day. Makes me feel like I'm an actual farmer, even though my farming skill would say otherwise. Dude, there's a lot of a lot of tree seeds down here. I thought I did a pretty good job with the grass starters, but they're finding ways to to sneak a few extra little seedlings in there where they can. All right, I need my hoe and I need my watering can. Welcome on in, casual gamer. Glad you're able to make it for the last little bit of the stream here. I think this will be the last, like, day of the stream, because we're closing in on that three-hour mark. And by the time we're done with all this, it'll probably be very near three hours. But I'm happy to have you here for the end of it regardless. This is your semi-occasional reminder, by the way, that I have a basic hoe. <laughs> After all this time, we still just have a, a basic hoe. Thankfully, we don't have to use it all that much. <laughs> Why would you eat cat food? Some cat food honestly smells good. Pet food is like... Why are they so cruel that way? Like, they make some pet food smell really good. But then if you try to eat it, it doesn't taste anything like it like it smells. It's such a ripoff. So I'm told anyway. Not that I've ever like tried pet food myself. That's like weird. Obvi ob obviously. Um but like But my friend, my friend who like did, you know, go into his mom's go go into like the the pet food cabinet one time and picked out one of those like dog treats that looks and smells exactly like bacon and tried to take a little bite one time and my friend told me that he spit it out so fast and then the dog came and ate the stuff that he spit out <laughs> that was my chat it was my friend though it was my friend My 
my friend told me that it was that it was really really gross. My friend was very brave for sharing that. I know, right? Pardon me, Iota. Pardon me. Am I going to have time to, like, water everything, too? Because, <laughs> like, it's not going to come pre-watered, even with the sprinklers here. I have to water it at least once today if I want to get the most bang for my buck. Oh, also, I just thought of this. Because um, if I go to sleep too early on a harvest day, the Junimos are not going to get to harvest it, right? Like, they don't harvest it overnight while I'm sleeping. They only can harvest while I'm actually awake. So on harvest days, I actually have to remember to come down and make sure that they're allowed to harvest it. So that'll that'll add a little bit more time to it, but it's well worth it for sure. I like <laughs> I like that we get to see them turning on the, their little lights down here. All right, let's do let's do ancient fruit just across the top as much as possible, and we'll fill up the rest with uh, with cauliflower. Okay, now cauliflower the rest of it. We'll see if we're if we're spot on with the math, with remembering the math. Like 138 sounds so accurate. It's it sounds absolutely like the most accurate number of all time. It sounds so familiar. And it looks like we're gonna be pretty close, if nothing else. Excuse me? Perfect. 138. Exactly as planned. Now, if only I had animation canceling, this would be a lot faster, but we'll make we'll make do. We'll make do here. Just a little soothing water. And can we get some water emojis in chat? Water emojis. Don't get a chance to use them all that often, but here's your time. We don't do that much manual watering anymore. Ooh. No, I'm trying I'm trying to eat a salad. I'm not trying to feed the Junimos a salad. I think that's like cannibalism or something. Thank you for all the water emojis. You're refilling Beatrix's watering can without me having to go to the ocean. You didn't you saw nothing? Are the Junimos made of lettuce? They're made of forest magic, and forest magic is what causes plants to grow, and salad is plant. So, ergo, Junimos should not eat salads. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Yeah, no problem, no problem. I'm, I'm very happy to clarify. I was gonna go refill my watering can in the fish pond, but I worry that if I ac that if I touch the fish pond, I'm accidentally gonna collect the produce, so let's just not even bother with that. It's getting late, and I'm very tired, and I have a wilderness golem breathing down my neck. I'm not about this. I think we're gonna make it, though. I th we might pass out in the fields, but I think we're going to be able to water everything here. And you know what? If we pass out in the fields, not the end of the world, we have a long time to sleep ahead of us, so we'll be able to make up that energy in no time. Dude, can you, like, stop? Stop, dude. Dude, you're being really... You're being really uncool right now. You know that, you little wilderness golem? You're being, like, really... Un I'm just out here trying to water my crops and... Dude, stop! D you're being so annoying. I'm gonna tell your mom. I'm gonna tell your mom on you. If you don't... If, if you don't stop right now, I'm actually gonna tell your mom. 
I'm gonna, I, dude, I'm, I'm not even joke. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Dude, this, this is your, I, I swear, this is your last one, dude. Dude, mom, mom. The wilderness golem is bullying me again. Man, what, a, what an annoying little guy. Wait, I can make it? I can make it? Iota, please? <laughs> I can make it. I can make it to bed. I can make it to bed. No, oh, I passed out! <laughs> I passed out in bed! No! <laughs> Dude, that was, the that was the closest you could possibly be. Never say I'm not a min-maxer. I don't get the most time out of my days. <laughs> Oh, baby. Best place to pass out. Hello, Wickety. Hello, you're you're here just in time for the like end of the stream, but <laughs> happy to see you again. Happy to see you. Passed out in bed. We managed to get our area fully watered though. Fully watered and ready to go. Let's go check out our handiwork just cuz I I want to. I want to. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. The butterflies out here pollinating and everything. So good. All right. So we're, I, I am going to have to remember. We're, we're going to try to collectively remember. We got cauliflower here. Cauliflower will be ready on what? The 13th? Fell asleep on the couch. Still tired from watching the marathon. I feel ya. Did you go to, like, every single stream other than, like, when you were streaming? Were you in, like, the stream chat? Because, like, I, I lurked in a few of the stream chats during the friendship a and I was- I saw you there, like, every single time that I was in there. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> the commitment is unreal. That's crazy. And then you- and then you had your own stream part way through, so it's like, wow. <laughs> I respect it. We planted, uh, ancient fruit and cauliflower. And we're going to swap out that cauliflower for strawberry seeds once we get to the egg festival. At any rate, chat. Oh, we also I, I also need to remember to check these fruit trees. We got... Well, I mean, it is iridium quality fruit. Is it, is it worth checking? It probably is, yeah. You missed three people because you went to bed. I guess everyone has to sleep at some point. That's... <laughs> that's, that's acceptable. This is acceptable. All right, chat. I think that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for joining me as we set up our farm. We're closing in on $2 million. I think this will be the first time on a uh, fractured farm that we've had $2 million in pocket. That's going to be huge. And it's only going up from there. $2 million is going to look like chump change compared to where we're going. Well, not really. It's like a fifth of what we need. But <laughs> Now we've got the infrastructure set up. We're going to the moon. We're going all the way to Gold Clock Town. Will we be able to get it in the remaining two streams this week? I don't know. Rains to be seen. Depends how efficient I can be. But Buy a return scepter. Who needs a gold clock? I would gladly buy a return scepter. But it's a different goal. So <laughs> so I will have to make another $2 million at some point for that. But that's, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. If I can make $10 million, what's what's $12 million? Or 14 or 15 million. Anyway, I'm not going to think about that. I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> not Well, no, I'm not going to go to bed. It's like 6 p.m. I'm not that old. And I'm not that tired either. But I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. We'll be continuing with the, uh, with the randomizer. The gold clock grind grinds ever onward. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. And I will send you off with the usual fan art compilation. Thank you all so much for joining me. This is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.